let's get into the finale of Devastation Arc. And the finale for the crew of the Celosia. Alright. To give you guys a quick rundown of what happened last time, deep in the bowels of Arc Prime, aka the Devastation Arc, a truly like system killing massive ship of the Sib Dominion, the long thought dead uh, race of incredibly advanced aliens. They have come to the Pact World center of power for most of the galaxy. <laughs> Boo hiss. Um, and despite the fact the Pact Worlds, with your guys' help and organizational skills and a military mindset, have mobilized the highest number of fleets and defenses ever seen in living memory, uh, they are still getting chewed the fuck up by the Ark. And it has just occurred to you guys, you've just learned, uh, via the uh, Quantum Rel State Telescope that it looks like the Hair Anch, the spirit that has corrupted the AI in this ship, is siphoning energy from the Starstone, perhaps the most powerful relic in the galaxy. You guys are currently looking for four transposition keys. Um, these bad boys. And four codes. You almost have all the moves you guys have three uh, do you have all four keys or three keys now? I can't find my note about it. Uh... Oh, I there it is. we had three. Yeah, you guys should have three keys and two codes. Okay. Uh, and then you did know it's possible to move on without those. Just might be harder to crack uh, the entryway into the AI core, which is currently shielded. Uh, all right, it's a general run through. You guys also, you know, rescued... Uh, a long and captured uh, Aklath, those uh, pig people from the simulation. After you met a fae who represents the destruction of a planet, they teleported away to remake the planet. All very lovely. You guys have killed moon giants and killed actual Civ and Civ robots, and even in, uh, you know mentally dominated one Civ to work for you guys. Uh, there was briefly some AIs that fucked with you. Uh, and I realized last time I am going to give you XP for finishing that room because uh, I didn't do that last time. Uh, how far away are you guys from level 20 now? You're almost there. Hello. I, I thought we were a couple hundred thousand. Maybe a couple hundred thousand. Yeah. Which, I mean... At this level is almost yeah. there. I but... mean, yeah, you guys are about to get you guys get a hundred and two four hundred. Dang. Which is very, very close. Alright. Um with that in mind, you guys did uh look into this room earlier. Seems to be a hallway that just wraps back around to the control room. There are very few places you haven't investigated in depth. Uh, really, honestly, mainly, it's just that swamp biome area. You guys kind of skipped over that. Oh, yeah, we welded them inside. You did. They, it, uh, to be fair, that did slow them down for a while, which definitely helped the fight later. Well, if they're dead, should we check it out anyway in case there's something helpful in there? Yeah, yeah. we're still looking for keys and codes, right? So we might as well... Sid Lester, what's in the swamp room? It is a relaxation space. There are computer terminals for those who need it. Uh, so there are computer terminals in there. Indeed. Yeah, integrated into the naturalistic surroundings. Yeah, let's check it out. How relaxing. For Siv, quite relaxing. zoom back out but yeah you guys can kind of just drag yourselves back to that room uh, I will describe it once again I assume the doors are open so we can like look in yeah they're kind of busted off their hinges right now uh, sorry let me scroll back up I was at the previous thing alright um you guys see the large room is filled with a marsh complete with those large banyan trees 
hillocks rising from shallow bogs and a slight stench of rot indicative of a normal marsh the far side of the room there's a window that looks out onto like farther swampland uh seems like it's probably some hologram terrain to make this place look bigger but you do see there are some control panels and vid screens as well uh those would be computer checks to investigate all right let's investigate Um, you guys are able to, this code is a little bit more, uh, relaxed. Um, and you are able to hack it a lot easier. Uh, you guys do get one more code. So you have three and three. You're not quite sure where the fourth key is. Did we, there was only one terminal to check in here, or did uh, there was only one in there? Yes. Okay. Should we ask the AI at the front? You can ask the AI at the front, uh, who was four point one, but is now four point five. Oh, that's right. Yeah, let's go ask four point five. After uh, costed some uh, some finagling. Uh, it's gonna be down that toilet, isn't it? <laughs> I was just thinking that. Is it in the toilet? <laughs> Did we finish checking the room that the the uh, boar person was in? That the witch person was in? The boar person? Man bear pig? Oh, the medical station? Yeah. Um, I think you guys could have potentially checked it more, but you could also talk to the AI, see what, see what's up. Yeah. We'll talk to 4.5. 4. We've got three and three and i'll tell her which rooms we got them out of where do you do you have any idea where the fourth might be um it's like the fourth uh, uh she's mine's kind of clear thanks to cost's interference she's like fourth key may be hidden by the computers entry way into the final room Read more by this author. She's looking out of some trouble with the uh, advertising programming that she's stealing from. Um, but she seems to indicate that it could be located near the actual final uh, defenses. Hmm. Okay. Maybe we should check in there again. Uh... Sorry, be right back. Twelve minutes. Very good. Um, all right. As you guys uh, head over that way, uh, give me another perception check. Stealth. Yeah, holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, sorry, let me scroll back. And it's still not as good as your stealth. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. Alright. Uh, there we go. Monitoring room. Alright. Uh, you guys look around these very complicated computers. Again, this is like the tier 10 uh, computer bank. Insanely complex Civ stuff here. Uh, however... With that perception check, you do see almost like low techly hidden in an under drawer of this one, like a drawer that's kind of clicked into the bottom of the desk, is one last transposition key. With all the keys and three of the codes, if someone's make a computer's check, you think using the previous codes, you could try and get the final one. Oh, I hate Nice. 
right. What's the DC to aid at this level? Uh, I think it's still just like 20 something. Oh, okay. It's really hard not to aid at this point. Uh, yeah. Koss, with the backup of MK, you quickly sort through. And you guys realize you have all four codes that you can patch into all four keys. Um, give me one sec. I just wanted to. I know Jax had to dip for a second, but here we said. I can respond to that. You had to duck out for a minute. Um, any general questions then while we wait before you try to start inputting the sequence? Are we going to get a chance to take a long rest before we fight the boss? You will indeed. <laughs> no. You get to reach level 20, but you don't ever get to play at level 20. No. Oh, you do. <laughs> uh, what XP value are you at right now? I'm not sure. 2,240,100. Oh man, that's close. What do we need? 160,000? Yeah. Alright. Um, well, alright, since he's dipped for a second anyway, uh, you guys are going to, with all four codes, pretty easily be able to get through the side door. Uh, for finding the last code, that's going to be 62,000. <laughs> Uh, and then it'll be 120,000 for unlocking it with the four keys. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Um, so if you want to start putting in your level 20 stuff on your sheet, uh, I will explain in a second what is going to happen to enable this rest. Cool, cool, cool. I forgot there were ability score improvements in 20. excited to see what level 20 freaking shenanigans you guys are about to pull and what insane stuff i'm gonna pull with level 20 enemies <laughs> yeah so, sorry about that i just have to quickly finish something it, uh, it, it, i should be done with that <laughs> no uh, you're good you're good more. uh we were just ba i mean basically we were just finishing up like the they found the final code we have the stuff um it's gonna be one okay. last engineering check to unlock it but that's negligible so I was saying, you know, you guys make all that through. You got enough XP. People are adding in the level 20 stuff right now. I was just waiting until you got okay. back to be like, you know, what exactly yeah. is allowing you to log rest, essentially. Okay. Um, but yeah, as you guys are adding in your level 20 stuff. Um, let me scroll back down. All right. I'm going to bring up a few uh, different pieces of art here. All right. All of our uh, benefactors? Uh, at least four of them. The ones we like. And one you don't like as much. At least I don't, I don't think any of you had any particular love of Gelivar Sknor. The uh, Eoxian delegate. As you guys manage to hack through this intense Civ encryption. Some of you getting faster and faster. You're about to learn Civ at level 20 as you start to understand 
the writings that of this long dead or seemingly until now long dead race finally some of the communication links are starting to get through from the fleet the first one you get is directly wired to your guys data pads you hear lynn camelon the head general of the stewards the intergalactic peacekeeping force who you guys have worked with in some capacity for almost years at this point camelon to the Solosia. camelon to the Solosia crew things are getting things are getting bad out here we need you to get things done quickly something's wrong with the star stone power is fluctuating wildly on Absalom Station, on, off. It, I don't know, some of my casters in the force seem to think that even the building has shifted places a few times, the whole station. Look, we got some of our casters together and we met with some of the others. Kamara, you see Mela Cruz kind of come on the line. She's like, listen, I have poured in all available resources from the workings of Absalom Station. You know that I hold a lot of power over the citizens within I have collected every able-bodied caster I could find. Uh, here's some chattering in the background. Here's like some of the caster you guys have met uh, along the way at various meetings. You even hear that like devil summoner, uh, the con contemplative brain that you guys met, uh, like kind of chiming in in the background. It's like, oh yes, yes. If it's like help research, we'll get it done. Um, Gevilar Sknor, uh comes onto the line, just very grim, uh, no expressions like. Thanks to your maneuvering, our forces were not slaughtered in the Eoxian reaches. What casting my necromancers can provide, we will. <laughs> Mrs. Knott uh, comes and she's like, I brought together all the mystics, all the clerical staff of Abadar Corps. We are forming our own magic circle upon one of our flagships. The others are doing likewise in their various locations. I never thought it would get this far, but you all have truly proved to be allies of not only Abadar Corps, but everyone, everyone that we could find. And then last but not least, uh, you hear a quiet voice on the link, Cambrissa Jun. Cambrissa uh, was the cleric of the God of Mysteries. She aided you guys a bit before you met with the initial council. And in this kind of quiet, calm voice, more calm than all the others, you can hear like detonations of the fleet in the background, ships getting wrecked out there. I have seen very few straightforward answers in my time. Usually, my faith leads to uncertainties those that follow it with me there's never any clear answers or even if we are shown glimpses of the future Eloritu in its wisdom never gives us more than a series of possibilities but for once as the archmage of the circle of substantial stone high priest of the hidden truth I know exactly what needs to be done to defeat this monster to defeat this evil you need all the rest you can manage. You need to be at your highest peak of performance. With my lead, we've begun to conduct a ritual. It'll place you all in a stasis bubble. For you, it'll seem as though a whole day has passed. For us, it should be no more than a minute. When you're ready, simply step forward, exit the sphere, and do what needs to be done. May Eloritu and the gods be with you. Hear a chorus of like a bunch of the others like, may the gods be with you, may the gods be with you. And you kind of hear a slight snort from the more uh, straightforward military man of Lynn Camelon. Just be like, yeah, well, gods aside, hit him where it hurts. The line starts to fizzle out with static. You guys see this insane golden, almost like phantasmagorical sphere as other multicolored light of like purple magic, blues, greens, all these other casters from across the fleet join forces. And you guys are surrounded uh, and you have 24 hours to prep whatever you need to and to take a long rest as pretty much all the casters in the fleet 
use up whatever resources they have left to make this possible. Kind. Uh, what was that? Go ahead. That chamber from Dragon Ball Z. The hyperbolic time chamber? Train. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Once you said, what was that chamber? I was like, it's going to be Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. I fucking, yeah, the hyperbolic time chamber is such a, such a classic bit. There's a, I don't know if anyone watched Dragon Ball Z Abridged back in the day, but extremely funny show that I think people should watch. Hypertonic Lion Tamer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the hyper, yeah. He misnames it like 10 times in a row. But there's another part where You're Mr. Like, Popo, I think, uh... <laughs> you get one more. Yeah, you get one more. <laughs> he sends uh, Vegeta in and is just like, like, how long is it, you know... How long is he training for? And there he's like, hmm. Oh, I uh, I turned off the time dilation effect. One day in there is one day out here. Why? <laughs> cause fuck him. <laughs> yeah, cause fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> Such a good bit. All right, you guys are able to rest, and if you have any prep shenanigans to do, you can do it now. I'm gonna say for ease of play sake, soldiers, if you guys wanted to drag in. Uh, the book that's going to give you the advanced ability on your level 20 ability. Yeah. What does that one do again? It, um, enemies aren't immune to our kill shot. Uh, I got to double check, but I think it's they're not immune for 24 hours like they normally are. Yeah. Yeah. So you can just keep on trying. In I, I, I I had already jumped the gun and already edited all my stuff. All right, fair enough. I mean, you kind of knew. Yeah. I'm up to 240 stamina. Nice. Also, I'm going to say, despite the fact that it didn't trigger the mine trap, because that feels weird, uh, in the 24 hours, Flack, you would be able to repurpose that mine swapping trap to get your operative ability. The, the boost to your thing, sorry. Um, I'm sorry, what, what are you talking about? You know how like, the other has got like, the strange boost level 20 ability from various things? Um, yours kind of required you to fuck with the mind swapping trap. Uh, and I meant to say you guys can make another check on that before. Um, but assuming you took 20 and passed it because you have 24 hours now. Uh, the special thing for your... what's Your final thing is like the uh, supreme operative class feature, right? Yeah. Um, so when using it, uh, you can choose to roll once rather than twice. If you do, the result of the die is just treated as if it was 10, um, even if it's lower than that. Okay. So, like, so in foregoing rolling twice on something, you could just be like, all right, fucking minimum 10 on this roll and just roll one of them. <laughs> Uh, you'll be able to do that, not quite as good as the other big things, but you'll be able to do that uh, three times today. Okay. All right. Sounds like everyone's ready to rumble. Also, make sure you guys get your uh, various health and stuff back. Stamina and all that. I'm pretty sure you would have had enough spell stuff left to heal cost of full from hit points as well. I'm going to assume yes. Sorry, what was the question? Um, that cost is just getting healed, basically. Ah. Yeah. 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 Um, all right. I'm going to close out all my various tabs on those individuals. And are you guys ready? to enter the AI chamber. Yeah, before we do, of course, I'm enabling my uh, my shield yep. <laughs> as well as my uh, cloaking field. Got to be done. Makes sense. I'll have my bipod at the ready. <laughs> Hell yeah. You know I, just, I had set it up wrong, so it was never applying the correct buff. Oh my god. Is this even, even higher this whole time? Yeah, I... So it Hell yeah. decreases the penalty from doing a onslaught or full attack. 
Uh, I'm gonna cast. Oh, whoops! Refresh that by accident. Uh, debating if I should cast it before we go in, because I don't know if we're gonna walk right into. Well, no, first, not first let, let me take a look in here with my X-ray laser. What's the limit of? Isn't it like a limit of metal? It might be too thick. Let me see. There is a definite limit. It's like they set it up just so it's just past your. Uh... One foot of stone, two inches of common metal, or one inch of lead, or any star metal. What do you know? It's a two and a half inch metal dome. Uh, this one is too <laughs> thick to see through. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Can we just hope? How many grenades do we have? Can we just open the door and throw all the <laughs> grenades in? All the fucking grenades. I'll probably chuck tiny, tiny Tim in. Valid. Well, as, uh, actually, instead of the bipod, I'll have a grenade at the ready to throw Tim in whenever Flack opens the door. All right. Um, I'm going to open the door, but I'm going to step back and let tougher people go ahead of me. All right. MK, do you want to I'm right behind you guys. And uh, I am going to cast Mystical Legis Mass before we go in. So, plus two to saves against spells, spell like abilities, and supernatural abilities. You guys see uh, Triune's uh, holy symbol blaze in the air, kind of directly above all of you, centered in the room. You guys feel the magic wash over you. And 45 temp HP. Um. MK, do you want to step behind me? Yeah. Clang, clang, clang. Approaches the door. Get behind me, get behind me. You guys, uh, I think Koss probably taking charge of inserting those final uh, four data keys into the orange slots. They all begin to beep kind of blue and then uh, stop flashing a solid green. The energy barrier lowers. Uh, and I'm going to reveal this whole room. The AI chamber. Currently appears empty, although you do remember uh, looking through that telescope into the REL state that they might be just out of phase with reality. And that the process of entering here with the keys, they should be about to be called forward. But I'll describe to you what you're seeing at first. The smooth walls of this enormous rounded chamber are lined with hollow screens displaying dizzying amounts of data. Several silhouettes of Arc Prime are tagged with readouts, and gauges show power flowing from the star stone directly to the vessel. Six large pedestals ring the room. Each seems simultaneously smooth and mangled, as though being warped into impossible shapes. The room's only entrance, these immense doors, uh, showing the solid circle inside an archway that you had seen in the other parts of the station. And then directly across the room is a truly enormous computer console. Um, all right. As you guys kind of stand at the doorway, you hear almost a level of static that you can feel rumble through the air. You guys hear a voice seemingly broadcasted not only out of the speakers, but seems as though it has hijacked the actual molecules in the air to resonate to its voice. In this, uh, echoing out from the chamber, you hear a sieve voice radiating authority, emitting a rasping grunt of frustration. I don't see how I could have made this any more obvious. The Civ Dominion will rise again, and no feeble coalition of mismatched rabble like your packed worlds can prevent that. You've seen how easily we conquered your mightiest space station. You've seen the creatures we bend easily to our will. You've made a grave mistake by interrupting me. But take consolation that this mistake will be your last. See, the whole room seems to vibrate in and out of focus. You guys almost see like, it's not just the vibration shaking your eyes. You briefly see multiple dimensions piled on top of each other. Jax, I think like in that action, you kind of like toss in uh, the grenade as best you can. Did anyone else have anything they were readying right there? 
Depending on what it is, I think there'll be more or less of a degree of success here. Just in the middle of his speech, I'll just chuck a grenade at him. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna bring these guys to the front lair. You guys see so accurately depicted in hard light, he almost looks real. This ornately armored sieve, the one that you guys spent some time as in the simulations. This is the hair Anch. Um, I actually, I have an even higher <laughs> res version of that. One sec. All right. Did anyone else have anything they were readying? I just readying to shoot. Yeah, I would have my rifle out. Uh, all right. I would prepared. say, in kind of the flux, anyone taking a shot. Roll me a d4 to see who it hits, because they're all kind of, like, bouncing around each other right now. Sure. All right, give me a one moment. Uh, here's my... I don't know why it defaulted to the other one, but there's my higher res. All right. Uh, looking at your shots, those of you who took a shot here, Flack, you're hitting the lower Civ Warmaster. Zashi, you're hitting the Holland Heart Hardened Hologram. Cost, you're hitting the top Civ Warmaster. Let's go down the line. Flack, you make your roll first. That is indeed a hit. Thanks. Uh, let's see. This was the Warmasters. Uh, next up, let's do Zashi going for the Hardened Hologram. Um, I believe that is actually also a save. Let me double check. Or a hit, sorry. Uh, that is a hit. Oh, cool. Should I also mm -hmm. I'd be on the other side of Jax? So oh, I yeah. Can you can move see. yourself up there. I didn't. Okay. You, you guys had 24 hours to plan sneaking, your positions. but also I wasn't. Yeah. You're you're totally fine. Um, cool. All right. So that impacts the hardened hologram. And last but not least, Koss, go ahead and make your shot on uh, the top boy. <laughs> Fortunately, that is not going to do it. But one last time, go ahead and click your tokens. Let's roll for initiative. Um, real quick. Yes. I didn't say it because I was still applying stuff, but I was going to reapply um, MK's, uh, what should we call it, that I gave him last time. The, uh, oh, the oh almost... increased spell penetration with the Dejeret? Yeah. The Dejezet? Yeah. Nice. Hell yeah, spell penetration goes up by two, baby. Awesome. Fuck. Oh. God damn it. That is like the worst initiative I think I've ever rolled. Alright. Gotta roll three different initiatives here. Okay, let's go with hologram. God damn. Glad I precast. Let's go for the hair Anch, big boy himself. And his bonus. Uh, and would you guys, do you think, have brought in your little friend? I was just thinking that. I'm thinking probably not, because the risk is if we tell him to attack Mirage, that could break to dominate. All right. And then we gotta fight him too. Can you leave him happy in the in the light room. <laughs> he's uh, just vibing. He's just he's just fucking vibing. <laughs> and last but not least, uh, do. -do, -do need to get my so there's like four kinds of sieve right here all right sieve war master coming in hot with a 16 all right hardened hologram first I'll turn down my music a little bit it's getting too loud uh, can you pop... what's up can you pop a uh, tiny tim down oh yes you did chuck him what's oh yeah what's your insane throw range now power armor 
What's the normal range of a grenade? I want to say it's like five times strength modifier or something, which is already insane for you. Then I think you add like 30 or some shit. I think so on something. Oh, that's something creature. Summon a grenade. Um, Since it's a grenade, I think it's just as far as you can huck a grenade, which for you um, is like... Normal range, normal range, 20 feet. I add 50 with the strength bonus. So, so... go ahead and 70 out from you. So Jesus. how about right there? Right there. Toss it in through the vibrating air. Boom. Siege robot manifests. Uh, and I think in startled surprise because of that, the hardened hologram is going to turn around. Um, ooh, what's it going to do here? It is going... <laughs> it's going to rush the siege robot, rear up on its hind tentacles, and slam into it with concentrated light. Uh, that is going to be a hit. Uh, for hard light slam is for 71. Flack, it's over to you. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to trick attack on Ferranch. I'm going to identify him obviously as the leader here. What? That's God, metagaming. I will, he can't... I will, I will reroll that. He can't do that. Someone shoot him or something. <laughs> uh, go ahead for the reroll. And working on it. Wait, how do we reroll? It's because he can, like, he a, just, uh, like, rolls with advantage forever now. Yeah. Oh God. Not like the rest of you peasants who can only, you know, warp entire realities or unleash ship-killing guns, <laughs> reprogram every robot to ever exist. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Uh, alright. Trick attack that does succeed... A 40 on EAC will indeed hit. Oh, thank God. Um, yeah, that, you're fine. It does, it does hit. Uh, and, God, so much damage already. Okay, and I will go for my double debilitation here. I'm going to, um, the one I like to do first. I'm going to do a knockout shot. So uh, he needs to do. Oh, I'm sure he's gonna pass this. A fortitude DC twenty. Nah, he's not gonna pass. <laughs> not this man. Also, I did re. I need to re-roll that damage. Someone remind me in a second. I'll, I'll just take twenty off that damage. I did uh, the wrong roll for the siege robot, so I'm just gonna give him twenty-five health back. Uh, all right, fortitude. You said. Nice. Yeah. I'm not even gonna say how filthy high that number was, but he passes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, my, my second try is, oh, is he carrying, like, a weapon of any kind? Uh, he appears to be a pure hard light hologram. So, no? Seems to, not that you can see. Okay, nothing I could deactivate, so I can't do that. Um... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. I will um, kind of hop back behind here, by get some cover, and uh, that is my turn. All right, Jax, it's over to you. All right, I'm gonna move action, pop up the Titan Shield. All right, give me. And then I'm gonna try to take a kill shot at uh, this one here. Um, a kill shot at the top uh, Civ War Master. Yeah. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make your roll. I'm just pulling up my little shield thing. Don't mind me. Um, I'm gonna pop deadly. No, I don't need deadly aim if it kills. Forty-five to hit. Uh, yeah, forty-five will hit. just did this crazy thing. Uh, right, I'll, find, I'll find your shield in a second, but yeah, so 45 uh, that does hit the top one, and then what was the save? Uh, DC 27, I believe. Uh, he does pass that, however. Son of a bitch. 
He still takes the 56. Can't stop this man. There's the shield generator I wanted. Stretch a bit bigger, actually. So if he fails that save, does he just die? Yeah. <laughs> but he's not immune to after it yet. He still isn't immune. They don't get immune after 24 hours because of their ability. That's right. <laughs> so it could just happen again. All right, Zashi. Just waiting for, just waiting for them for them to roll a one. 27. I don't even think it would, I think it's more than just a one, but not by a lot. Is there a reason that nobody else has gone into this arena room yet? Did I, like, miss something about the floor being electrified? Is, that, that's the kind no. of question I'm trying to ask. Common sense. I think it's just uh, a sense of fear, more so than anything <laughs> okay. else. Cool. No, no, I mean, you probably yeah. spread out, that's for sure. Apprehension. I mean, it's certainly a tactic that you're all in one spot, I'll say that. Yep. I... I had to activate my shield so I couldn't move. <laughs> yeah, no, that that, that makes That's sense. That's fine. I, I really was just concerned that there was something about, like, and the floor is lava, and I <laughs> had missed that detail. Uh, I mean, if it is, we're going to find out now. Yep. Zashi runs in. Classic Zashi. Um, actually, I'll go over one, because these are, like, pillar things. Is that... Uh, yeah, these, uh, those are, are those? pillars, yeah. Ask. Those are like the weird geometric Before pillars. Before I get all cozy. Well, up plinths, okay. I guess, but they are taller than you. Yeah. Um, if I moved one more, would I have, like, cover from the three far away guys a little bit? Uh, at least the top two at the moment, unless they moved. Okay. Um, so that's cool. I'll be there. And then I'm going to fire again at the hard light guy that I hit last time. All right, going for the hard light guy. <sighs> Run up into the room, soldiered behind cover, peek out with the rifle. It's another hit. I guess. Excellent. Boom. Kind of punches a hole through the hardened light. You see it has a little bit of trouble reforming after that. Cool. And now it's time for the War Masters. All right. Unlike frickin' Jax, we can't all be maniacs with uh, throwing stuff. So they're gonna spend a moon to get closer. You see they both pull out those glowing yellow degeneration grenades that you guys hate. And each fucking arc one towards the party. Um, there's going to be two rolls to see if they crit. Okay, one crit and one normal grenade. I need everyone to roll two reflex saves except for Zashi. Zashi, you're out of danger. So many saves. All right, Flack, pass both and take nothing, because... I'm spending a resolve point to re-roll that one. Okay. And then second one. I'll spend another point to re-roll it. Burning through resolve, baby. Uh, okay, Jax passes both, and we'll take half. Flack, you pass both and take nothing, because you just dive through the other door next to you. Um, gotta scroll back up. Koss will fail one, pass one. Uh, luckily, you passed the crit. The crit was the second one. MK, 17. Did you roll another one? Yeah, I rolled two. What was uh, it? 17 and 31. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, also, fail, pass. <laughs> so, hopefully, I haven't remembered what I just said, but... Go ahead, Jax. MK, does your um thing... Is it only for spells? Yeah, it spells developing abilities and natural abilities. Okay. Alright, the first one was 39. If you failed, uh, have that to 20 if you passed. Ignoring Flack. Flack, just ignore all of me, actually. Uh, then with the degeneration effect, the second one is an even 100, unless you pass, which everyone did, which is 50. 
And in case anyone has resistances, uh, this is Acid Sonic. Does that affect anybody? Resistance-wise. Okay. Um, this is magical, right? Uh, it is not magical, no. So your armor does take some of that hit. Just good old Civ Dominion tech, baby. I think that completely eats through the entirety of the uh, that spell. MK. Okay. Yeah, 45 temp HP. They, they gotta do something. Yeah. You guys aren't the only crit good ones going hard over here. All right, Koss. Technology oh, um, more than your wildest dreams in front of you. What's up, Jax? Um, we'll have Koss go first, but I, we forgot Tiny Tim. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. Yeah, Koss, do your thing, and then... Uh, Tiny Tim, I think it might just, like, fucking shoot this dude point blank in a second. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, we'll let Koss take his turn first. Thank you for reminding me. There's a lot going on in this fight. <laughs> One sec, I gotta rework my health because I forgot about the temporary health points. <laughs> yep, true, true. I missed that those existed as well. Uh, 45 <laughs> temp, I wanna say? Was that what it was, MK? Yeah, it was 45. Your boy's listening. <laughs> Uh, once you reworked your health, though, Koss can do his thing. Okay. Um, move action. Going to activate um, thing. technological innovator. So I have additional override damage if this works. And then I will try to Override this one. Uh, override, that works on like their mechanical parts or what? Because he is an actual person. Oh, are they? Yeah. The War Masters, there, yeah, I'll pop up their gross art. The War Masters are some of like the actual, hey, we're still alive and exist civs. Too many versions of civs, I hate it. <laughs> Sorry. These are the robot ones, I assume is what you're looking for. Okay, well, instead of override, we will go for overload. That's more useful. We love a, a good over ability, regardless of type. Oh, um, they're probably going to pass it. Oh, that has to be... <sighs> Them not being robotic just messed up everything. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Because I can't do that either. <laughs> um, alright. Let me... Hold on. Okay, we'll see you say that, but that doesn't stop me rolling that ones. What? Which item are you trying to overload? It's... Uh... I, I can't because I have to touch them. But oh, I have to them. use a move action to... Yeah. Oh, well, fuck. So I can't do that. <laughs> well, I will say if there's something else you can do from a distance, then that one will stand. If there's some other fucking shenanigan at play. Is there some way for you can get me to do my kill shot on your turn? No. <laughs> Jack's looking for the loophole. Oh. A free nat one, you say? Okay, this requires me to hit them, but there would still be a save throw after if I hit them. No, nope. it all goes to waste. Fine. All right, fair enough. Um, in that case, it'll be the hair on. I thought we were gonna do the robot. Oh yes, sorry. Thank you for reminding me. Everyone, keep reminding about the robot. There's like eight. I'm, I have so many notes open for this fight. Um, okay, robot is. Can we put it in gonna... the turn, the turn order. Is there a way to? Oh, why is it the old one? Hold on, let me reset it. Uh, when I click next, it should reset it to one. Okay. It was saving it from the last fight. Uh, okay. All right, robot going in with 
uh, its crazy missile launcher. That is a hit. Let me see the other one. Okay, miss the beam, hit the launcher, but the launcher is gonna do. Seventy-five to the hard light construct, which now looks bloody. This boom, massive explosion hits it point blank. Nice. And now, it is the hair Anch's turn. Real quick. Yeah, lay it on me. This is level twenty. <laughs> There's gonna be some discussion. I feel like. Because I didn't activate the override stuff, I would have activated. <laughs> My combat tracking instead. On a, who do you want to activate that on? The two half robots. Would a 30 have hit? Uh, KAC or EAC? Let me check. The needle alert pistol. I don't uh, know what that is. KAC, it would not have hit. Okay, uh, cool. Alright. MK. You see its eyes lock on you. You know your magical experimentation could be of use to the Dominion. Uh, give me a fortitude save, MK. Uh, why did it have to be fortitude? Because the hair Anch with a supercomputer AI is a smart cookie. Uh, you guys see a burst? No. 28? If it's a... Uh, if it's... Mind affecting effect. That would make it pass if it was one of those things, but it is not. God damn it. You guys see a flash of blue rel energy. MK, you disappear and reappear in front of the hair Anch. Uh, Hello. I love that. Robot. Uh. Exist. Oh yeah, I mean for sure he is. I don't think I don't think we were ever in debate about that. Um, <laughs> uh, all right. With that in mind, he is going to rear back a tentacle and just try to punch it like through your chest. All right. Uh, that is going to be thirty-nine against KAC. Yep. Oh, you have that thing where you can teleport away, MK. I do, but I want to see how much damage it does before I use it. Can you declare it after you know damage? Before I hit it? Uh, yes, it's the... Well, good question. I, <laughs> I think so, but... Because you have to know that it, you have to take damage as a triggering effect for the spell. Gotcha, okay, so then I think it would be after I avoid damage it. dealt by an attack as a reaction when you're hit by an attack spell or other ability that would deal damage oh but it's when you're uh, hit by it not when you are damaged by it i think is the key phrase well but the first sentence says what was the first one to avoid damage dealt by an attack you shift positions in your current timeline to avoid what's the ability called i'm just gonna read it temporal flash uh i just i don't want to short change you here i just want to make sure no no that's not I think the first thing is just flavor. I think the next sentence is the actual yeah. ability, which is as a reaction when you're hit by an attack spell or other ability that would deal damage to you, you can teleport away, uh, avoiding the damage that you would have taken if you'd basically if you'd stay. So, I yeah. think you'd have to call it. Bef I won't roll yet. Do you want? Do you want to teleport away? It's it's early enough that I don't want to burn the fifth level slot for that. Understand? So I'm just gonna risk it. It's going to be 71. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, you, there's been way worse attacks in this, in this fucking spaceship than 71. Yeah, true. All right. Oh, man. Uh, bottom of the order. Okay, now it's true. Why does it keep going to round six? What is happening? I wonder if I just delete it. Okay, well, it says round zero, but that's fine. Round negative one. Well, the, the name changes on that as well. Like, it'll say round zero now. It'll say, it should say round one. 
The negative one is just because it's in a weird position in the initiative. But, MK, it is your turn. Okay. We'll just know that uh, we're one round higher than this, if that comes up from something. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to do a couple of things. Uh, first, uh, at level 20, <laughs> uh, MK gains uh, a little class feature called Enlightenment, <laughs> um, which means that I become a living incarnation of my connection to a living incarnation of the Star Shaman. Uh, I no longer age, uh, nor do I die of old age. Yes. And once per day, as a move action, which I'm doing now, I enter a state of total communion with my connection that lasts for a minute. Um, during that time, I get a plus four insight bonus to attack, save, and skill checks, and 20 temporary resolve points. Um, and I can cast Miracle as a spelling ability. That's Miracle so, still as an action, though, right? Uh, yeah, Miracle as a... I assume Miracle as a spelling ability means I have to use it as the casting the spell would. So, mm -hmm. I'm going to use a move action to enter my enlightened state, which is just MK floating in place, folding his legs up underneath him, and doing, like, a yoga pose. Oh, yeah. You guys uh, can, like, uh, see, like, his veins beneath the skin all glowing. Just bright purple. And then I'm going to reach out to Veheranj and cat and star touch him. Tar's core inside your target. Holy shit. Okay, hold on. Okay, so go ahead and make a roll versus um, his EAC. Which I think is going to be... I just want to make sure I do it right. Um, Good lord. Which I think is going to be D20 plus my bab, which at 20 is 15, plus my wisdom modifier. Casting it doesn't provoke attacks opportunity as well. Holy shit. Cause the the thing you gave me was to spell penetration. I think that's right? just penetration, yeah. Yeah. So I think it's just gonna be. I don't think I get to add my like uh, weapon proficiencies and that kind of thing. So. Thirty-seven. Uh, tweener. Real tweener. All right, that does beat his EAC. I just gotta check something here. All right. You hold out your hand. You guys feel almost like a painful heat emanating, even though you're almost 100 feet from MK, as the tiny core of a sun blossoms in his hand. You would hit Veher Anch. He is going to spend a resolve point, and you see him discorporate into a field of static and energy. Um, that is only long enough to dodge the spell, though. He re-solidifies after that. So I think if it misses, it still does something, right? Yeah, on a miss, it effect fills a five-foot radius spread. So that would include you. Uh, where's my... I have to say creatures in the area. I'm just gonna add in a star effect really quick. One sec. So if it's five yeah, foot save against my own spell DC. Well, he also has to make it at least as the sun grows within him. Fuck me. 
That's an insane spell. It doesn't make a lot of sense that it would hit MK, though, does it? I mean, it has to be a melee attack. Yeah. I think that's just the risk. It does seem odd. I'm trying to read through the long paragraph here a second. Um, uh, go ahead and roll the damage, though, because he will still take some damage here. So he'll take half of that. Um, and let's see. Should his mind thrust at him? I think you still take it. But uh, he does, you know, the faster you can make him burn those uh, disappearing acts, the better. I wasn't expecting to use one immediately. Uh, I think this thing is going to continue just trying to slam the robot because that missile was real deadly. Um, additionally, just so out of character, I made them this way so you guys could differentiate. All of, like, this hologram looks like the hair on. It's very disturbing. There's two of them, but I thought that would get too confusing on the game board if there was multiple of them. I don't, I don't think I could handle that mentally. Uh, is gonna hit the robot. Uh, I'll make sure I do the right damage amount this time. Uh, it's gonna deal 44. Tiny Tim still isn't even bloody yet. Uh, I only went for one attack to ensure that it would hit, so it's gonna be flat. Out in the hallway. All right. I am going to book it into the room. Over here. I take my trick attack against her arch. All right. Uh, that will definitely do it. No one is CR34 here, unfortunately. Uh, who is that against? Big big dog? Oh, uh, Varanch, yeah. Uh, oh god, is he going to have to burn something again immediately? Let's see. And he is flat-footed. That is still not going to hit his flat-footed. The beam of light, boom, kind of ripples almost like a prism into different beams across the room. And then Flack, you take cover behind one of the, like, rotating, weird, geometric pillars. All right, Jax, back over to you. Uh, okay, I'm going to move action, grab onto the bipod, and then I'll take a standard action to kill shot. Um, one's been hurt. Has the other one been hit at all? Um... They both have been hit. The top one is slightly more injured. Actually, it would have regenerated a little bit of health on their turn. But yeah, still, the top one is slightly worse. Worse. Okay. Yeah. I'll take a kill shot at it. Kill shot him? Hell yeah, dude. Go for it. <sighs> that is a hit. And four to two, so. On a two on a dice, that is a fail. As you guys see the giant robot bring up the cannon, boom! Right through, cores this guy from front to back, and he goes down. <laughs> Kill shot, baby. Nice. Hell. And then Tiny Team is going to take his turn against the uh, hologram. All right, let's go for double attacks here. Uh, stellar cannon and missile launcher. Both hit this time. Such a cool ability. All right, uh, missile does that, and cannon as the big giant blue beam generates in the center of it. Both punch into the hologram right as the explosion detonates for 79 and then 33, over 100 damage. That hologram is beginning to flicker out of existence, but it is still alive. 
Uh, any other actions? Uh, nope, that's it. Alright, uh, that's gonna be Zashi then. Um, uh, ooh, wait, let's act. I need to check one thing. Uh -huh. Um, sorry, uh, oh, I guess this would be the top of the next turn, but, uh, Zashi, since you are starting there, I should have been doing this a bit earlier, but it makes sense to start now. Uh, the pillar near you begins to flux with gravity. I need you to make a fortitude save as you feel your body begin to be pulled almost into the isolating, uh, like, no. gyrating shapes. But I have such a plan. Fortitude save, you got this. Fortitude save is pretty good. Uh, that was a really shit roll. Uh, it's not a crazy amount of damage, it just is a problem. Uh, that is gonna be nine bludgeoning damage. Uh, oh, okay. That's fine. I thought it was going to slow me down. Uh, Sasha's got places to go. Sasha's got places to go. <laughs> okay. That's fine. I think I just got something for bludgeoning damage, but I can't... Hold on. Okay, that's if I do bludgeoning damage. Never mind. All right. Um, so using my one of my improved feats, Zashi is going to run out from behind the pillar. I counted it out, and I it's thirty-five feet of movement to get to here. Okay. So I'll get there and I will uh, punch at him with my new uh, hard light hand wraps. And this is at a minus two for me to hit. Uh, that is still a hit. Awesome. And then I have just enough movement that I can continue going to here, and now I get to hit two targets when I do my, um, what is this one called? Spring attack. Oh, hell yeah. All right, so... uh, with the 59, you manage to zoom, The hard light scatters into little fragments of gleaming blue. The hologram's down. Oh, wow. Nice. Cool. Oh, too easy. Oh, too easy. Now I'll swing on Vaharanch. And this is at a negative four. Okay. So a 34. Uh, bounces off the hard light body that he's created. Annoying. All right, but that's it. Um. All right. This boy. What is this boy going to do? You wouldn't like that you're trying to slice the hair on. All right, he's going to stay where he is, but try to double fire his... Uh, he's going to do one shot with the degenerator profile and one shot with the mutation gun. All right, mutation gun is definitely a miss. The other one is... 43 against EAC for the degenerator. Against Sashi. Yeah, that hits. Alright. That is gonna be... Uh, he has the generators, the slightly less dice. Uh, 57 acid damage. Okay. Um, hold on. Yeah. Alright. Uh, 57 then... acid. Yes, and then as a resolve point, uh, it is going to spend a resolve point to go into the rel state and become intangible. Uh, and head over this way in an effort to get out of Jax's line of fire. Koss, while you're over there, go ahead and give me either an engineering or computer check. Dealer's choice.
All right, cost. Two things come to mind. One, those pillars that are going to start fucking with people. 51, perfect. That actually gets the other piece of information. You can turn those off at, with either engineering or mysticism. Both are options. The more they shoot down, more they sh more of them you shut down, the harder rel state abilities are going to be to make work in this room. Alternatively, you could attempt to upload uh, the final code to make sure that Behair Anch is fully purged into the giant computer. It would just take multiple successful checks during the fight. But if you could pull it off and cut off his connection to the AI core, he would lose a shit ton of his abilities. All of that is not necessarily required to beat him, but it is all options. My sound was cutting out a little. You said hack. What things? I heard the rest of it, but I just don't know what I'm hacking. Or what I could hack. Uh, you can hack either the pillars to stop them fucking with people. One pillar at a time. And that, in theory, should gradually weaken rel state quantum abilities. Or, you guys know that like once you came to the core and got him out here, if you can upload uh, the right codes that you've obtained to this computer, that will cut his link to the core. Once that happens, he'll be far less powerful. That'll just take multiple checks during combat to do that. Whereas, like, each pillar is, like, one check and has immediate results. So a lot of, uh, a lot of options in play, really. Is it a full action to, um, or just an action, or... Um, it's, it's just actions, just standard actions. standard actions. Either on pillar or on computers. Uh, are you going to try one of the pillars this turn? Yeah. Um, you said computers or engineering? Uh, either one, sorry. E engineering or mysticism. You are right. It's engineering or mysticism. Uh, 58. That is a success. I'm going to put a little broken magic circle. It's trying to reassert itself with those polygons, but cannot do it. You've broken one of them. Okay. See the room judder with various quantum possibilities. And you see, one by one, dimensions seem to become slightly less possible. Which brings us to Beher Anch's turn. So, Kosk, you mentally tell the rest of us about this stuff? I assumed you had. Do you tell them, Koss, via the mental mental link? Um, not in as many words, but yeah, he says break pillars or the computer. <laughs> Magic or technology only. Magic or technology only. Fair. Um, I will say, I think you would know, Koss, just to clarify, it's engineering or mysticism on pillars. It is computers for the actual big computer. Only technology on the computer. <laughs> only use keyboard on You computer. may be smart, but you can only say so many words in chaos. I guess that's <laughs> true. Fair enough. Do you, do you have to be at a terminal to do the computers? Um, I think you can yes. attempt it remotely. Oh, it, the computers you can attempt remotely on there. It is just, it's going to be significantly harder than if you were actually touching the computer. Still, I think may be possible because you guys are level 20 but it would be a big a big jump in dc uh the hair Anch, though first things first uh he is going to concentrate and create a new holographic version of himself that manifests on this still surviving pillar Uh, then he is going to, oops, sorry, didn't mean to move that. He is going to five foot step over here, concentrate energy to his chest and fire a beam through MK and cost simultaneously. All right. Um, first shot at MK. He has to roll once for each of them. 
Uh, 36 against EAC. Okay. That hits exactly. But I'm not gonna take it. I'm gonna... No, no, no. Flash. You're next to me. You get plus two from oh, bodyguard. Right. Oh, bodyguard. shit. Oh. You, uh, ah. Zosh, you see the beam charging and just <laughs> shove MK to the side as, like, <laughs> boom. Get me check. Oh. Rip of energy goes to the room. Koss, <laughs> you see Zashi react, and thanks to that, you dive out of the way as well. He misses your EAC. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Hell of a fucking move there. Holy shit. Uh, that's his fucking, that's his turn right there. Uh, damn. Any turn you can waste for him is uh, real bad. Well, bad for me, good for you guys. And in the end, good for me, because I want you guys to win. Win or lose, it's all good for me, baby. <laughs> uh, so... Yeah, what, what's the play this time, Miracle user? Yeah, uh, I think... MK... Oh man, I've been waiting to use this one. He's going to save, but it's just such a good... Uh, fun fact, uh, if you Google just Miracle, believe it or not, doesn't redirect to Starfinder, by the way. <laughs> sometimes, really? Somebody else uses that word? So sometimes I forget that you can't just Google only words when looking up TTRPG shit. Well, honestly, Google should know you by now. I mean, yeah, at this point. That's what I'm it saying. It's like obvious. The top, like, three results should have been, like, D&D, &D, Starfinder, and Pathfinder. <laughs> That being said, Miracle on Ice, I... still a good movie. Fair enough. <laughs> hold them. Does, does hold um, them. MK uh, takes a five foot step back oh, God. Uh, next to Zashi and then reaches out into Veranche's mind and just, just weighs him down with the burdens and aches and pains and sorrows of his millennia long lifetime <coughs> and casts a weight of ages on him uh so he needs a fortitude save holy partial. shit you sketch some purple sigils in the air around him uh what's the fortitude save uh dc 26 oh that might fail actually hold on i'm trying to think if i have any that being lessons. said can he be affected by this He's such a weird category of, like, he is real, but also he's a fucking light being. Oh, right. Uh, what does it specify? I don't, I don't think he's immune. Is it, what, is it mind affecting pages. or, like, body affecting? Uh, necromancy. Uh, targets up to one living creature for, per level. Okay, so that, that would affect him. However, I don't think I did this on your last spell, because I just dodged it with the static burst. He does have spell resistance. I, I figured. Yeah. yeah. Now that I'm not uh, dodging this one, I actually need you to roll it. Uh, plus yeah. two from your shit, and I think also... Oh, yeah, plus two from uh, cost as well. Uh, plus level. And I think plus... No, not true. That does get through. Uh, and he does fail. So what's the effect? So, <laughs> so the effect is oh, uh, that he becomes encumbered for the duration of the spell. And it's one minute per level. Holy uh, shit. And he takes uh, 10d8 damage. Go ahead and roll... What kind of damage? Just damage? What is it? Good question. <laughs> got a lot of questions. A lot of questions about this. He's got a lot of uh, abilities. I gotta know. Fuck, it just says 10d8 damage. Is that really all it says? Yeah, the target takes 10d8 damage <laughs> and becomes encumbered for the duration. All right, raw pain racks this AI's body. <laughs> and I guess spirit, I mean, spirit AI, excuse me. Uh, go ahead and roll 10d8. He, I think he's going to take the full damage. This, this, the magic school is necromancy, so I guess you could argue it's, you know, some kind of negative energy or something. That makes sense. <laughs> that was a pretty but good roll. Alright, he takes the full fucking 48 uh, as the glow of your spell fades, and he seems to be slower than he once was. 
You are old and your empire is dust. The Civ Dominion will rise again. Even if I have to grind every rock in this system to dust. So uh, I know we've been calling these guys space Nazis. Are they actually space Are they actually space Nazis? What I mean, kind of. about how shit's gonna rise again? I mean, they, you saw, they, in your indoctrinations, they, you saw, like, at least four enslaved alien species. <laughs> Hell, you guys freed the one lady, or saw her break out. They just had her in a fucking trophy case in stasis for, like, a million years. They're fucking psychos. Well, I guess I should say, perhaps not all of them, but, uh, cause you, you guys did learn earlier that he... Like, the AI core here was supposed to be, like, a conglomeration of all their greatest thinkers. And he just fucking, like, took the ship and ran and put himself in it. So, perhaps he might be a bit worse than others. And, don't forget, you guys did learn that he ordered the experiments where, like, at first the Civ were like, Oh, you know, nuclear weapons are too awful and, you know, dehumanizing and devastating. He was like, nah, fuck that. Start research again. Uh, just because he wanted the Kishali to suffer. All right. New hologram version is going to go ahead and smack the siege robot. Trying to get that off the table. Uh, still doing single punches. That's what it's preferred. Method is that is a hit. Uh, the hardened hologram slam is the D6s. Uh, 49, the robot is about bloodied now. It's going to choose to stay on top of that pillar. Flack, that's you. You are also starting your turn by that pillar. Uh, ooh, that's what I meant to do. Sorry, on the top of MK's turn. Um, you would also need to make a fortitude save for the pillars to not, like, suck you closer. I think everything else would have still happened like normal, but... Just so you know. So MK will need a fortitude save, and uh, Flack will make a fortitude save at the top of your turn as well. Uh, that is a fail, I, Flack. I will uh, oh. spend a resolve point. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Go. MK needs a fortitude save? Yeah, I forgot to. The pillar's gravity effects are pulling everybody in on their turns. I just forgot to roll it for you. That unfortunately is still a fail, Flack. <laughs> Again, it's that not too it's not point. too crazy. The main problem is that if it pulls you in like back to back, that's a problem. That was horrendous. Never mind. Uh like MK, that three. does resist actually, so your whole turn happened normally. Uh and do we have to be adjacent to the pillars to They're they're constantly pulling you guys in different directions. Once you get close, you start taking damage. If you can, if you stay next to them, it's gonna get progressively worse. It's kind of like they're trying to pull you into this weird quantum singularity. Say that again. You kind of cut out there. Sorry. If we if we want to uh, deactivate them, we have to be next to them. Like yes. Adjacent. Yes. If you want to actually deactivate them, you do have to be adjacent. Gotcha. So I think I would like to make an engineering check against this pillar to try and deactivate it. Uh, go for it. Uh, let me double check. I think that might be a little bit too short. You almost get it done, but not quite. All right. I think, damn, that's hard to do. And I um. Get back into this corner. All right. Anything else? That's all I got. All right, uh, Jax. So am I being pulled in as well? Uh, you will be now. Um, I think the fortitude save is lower outside the room. Let me double check. It is a little bit lower. Uh, but you do have to make the check. Uh, yeah, you're going to get pulled in. Uh, you get pulled in just, just 10 feet. You don't take any damage yet. You're just getting pulled. Okay. Oddly enough, I actually want to be pulled in closer. 
Yeah, honestly, that kind of helps you a little bit to get some angles. Um. I like to imagine you kind of just, like, let your feet, like, you did a little jump in place and let the gravity pull you in. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Mm -hmm. We can still talk, uh, target for Hera Ange. Like he's still killable. It's just he has a lot of abilities right now, right? Correct. He, he is still targetable. It's just like without this, he can regenerate. He can maybe dodge shit if he chooses to. Like he's got a lot of other powers happening. So long as the he's like bound, bound to the code. Am I able to hit the wand on this pillar here? Uh, the one on the pillar is raised up on the top of the pillar. So yes, it's like a big plinth. Additionally, now that we're all in here, I just want to show you guys a cool bit of art. Uh, they did make a handout for the Iconics fighting Beharange. This is the little taste of the room at ground level for what you guys are seeing. That's awesome. <laughs> nope. Just so crazy looking. Alright, uh, Jax, you taking a shot at the hardened hologram then? Yeah, um, the other sieve looks weaker, right? It does, but I think I would give that one some cover because it's behind the pillar and kind of the robot's partially in the way. Okay, I'm going to start hitting the one on the pillar, and then if any shots are left over, target to a hair arch. Gotcha. I was going to say it's behind another pillar, but you're fucking, like, 12 feet tall, so ignore me. Yeah. Um... Onslaught with a reaction cannon. The top half of your power suit chassis rotates toward this one. Uh, go with your cannon. Fuck sake. Ooh, that was not ideal. I think maybe the last one. Uh, those are all misses because it's KAC. God damn it. They seem to. Doof, doof, doof. The uh, shells impact the side of the hologram but do not enter it in any way. Okay. Um, Tiny Tim's going after this one. Tiny Tim's going after the injured one. All right. Let's do this time just for shits and giggles. He's going to do like the multi cannon array and then the missile. Really, the only difference between that and the main cannon is that it's bludgeoning and slashing for some reason, but that's fine. Uh, he hits both once again. Not to be fucking stopped. <laughs> Force of nature. Uh, it's going to be. Uh, the X-Gen gun is 38. Uh, the missile launcher... 75. Let's see, 38. 75. Uh, the Civ Warmaster over here is looking pretty close to bloodied after those two impacts. Uh, Zashi, that is you. Alright. Um, oh, and give me a fortitude save to see if you're pulled toward any pillars. Yeah. Yeah. So the gravity and rel state in here is just absolutely fucked. Uh, you are pulled toward one. It should be the closest, but I think, weirdly, you are equidistant. Yeah, I kind of am, aren't I? Uh, I'd say give me um, uh, just a D2. One is the top one, two is the bottom one. Like heads or tails? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, you're going to get pulled 15 feet, so you do end up next to that pillar. Okay. Well, that's all right. Because uh, all I was going to do was um, move five feet and then try to do the... Uh, try to attack him and try to use kill shot or... Right? That's how that works. Try to do a kill shot on the Anch? <laughs> Yeah. All right. Uh, go ahead and make your shot. Yeah, single attack. Okay. Once I said kill shot, I was like, wait a minute. Does it does it have to be a? Uh, I'll know, check the description. I shot. think it's just an attack. Yeah, I think it just says uh, an attack against yeah. your enemy. Single attack against the enemy. Uh, if it hits and does not kill your enemy, you can expend a resolve point to force the creature to succeed at a fortitude save or die. Oh man. Woof. Of That's course. not gonna do it, unfortunately. Nope. Uh... Kill punch. Oh, right, because you have the hard lay hand wraps, not even the sword, yeah. 
Your hands glowing with energy. Such a perfect visual counter to a light hologram. Uh, but unfortunately... It would have been super cool if it... Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. I don't think I can do anything else after doing that. So. I don't believe so. Uh, that is this boy. Uh... Maybe he's going to use his fucking net. That'd be big. Oh, never mind. He just, he just can't use it. That's fucking hysterical. He has, they have those energy nets, which he just can't use on the robot because it specifies that it fucks with their limbs, which the robot does not have. It's just a tank on fucking treads. All right. In that case, he's going for a double tap with his uh, quantum entangler. Uh, both hit. Uh, 110, 120 damage. Tiny Tim is down into double digits. Cost, that is you. This robot's taking a ton of punishment for you guys, though, so that's pretty ideal. Cox is his eyes are gonna be real right and kind of burn his skull because he will use his remote hacking on the computer. All right, and start trying to hack it. DC does go up, but and it's still worth a try. His exocortex is helping him for a plus one. So that was really important. Okay. Uh, 46. That is very good, but not enough while it's far away. 47, but probably doesn't. Uh, unfortunately, yeah. That was that was not the threshold. I appreciate the hustle, though. W worth asking. All right. The hair onch. I mean, he's going to do it to you. Uh, first of all, to avoid an op attack, he is going to spend a resolve point to rail step over to here. And then since you guys are just in such a lovely beam line, he's going to fire that shit again. Oh, All right, you guys see the same hard light energy uh, gather up. Let's go near to far, Zashi. That is a 40 against EAC. Um, hold on. Okay, but that gets me the 30. Um, okay, got to thirty nine. I'm adding up the things that give me adjustments to my EAC. <laughs> I am very sorry for the amount of time this is taking. Almost level 20. It's not like there's 20 <laughs> different things you have to add up. No, it's definitely more than 20. <laughs> oh. um, no, no, no. Understandable. This is super high level. All right, uh, what if I try this? Deflect projectiles. When you would be hit by a ranged attack from a weapon or spell that deals energy or kinetic damage, mm -hmm. you can spend a resolve point as a reaction to make an attack roll with a non-archaic melee weapon that deals the same general category of damage, energy, or kinetic. So uh, could I use my- Yeah, your light gloves yeah. would be the same character as his hard light beam. Yeah. 
Oh, that's so tight. it's one resolve point. I can do this. I get a plus five bonus. If my attack roll is higher than the attack that hit me, I deflect it. Oof, so that's big. Unfortunately, that uh, is not as high. 38. Ugh. Uh, you guys see Zashi kind of like clamp her hands together to catch the beam, trying to hold it in place. But it blasts through, uh, goes through Zashi to the other two of you. It's almost like this very concentrated, thin beam just slices through the three. So, Zashi, you got hit for 57. MK? Uh, there's going to be 36, which I believe does hit. It does, and I'm not adjacent to Zashi, so... Uh, <laughs> 61. And cost... This time I am oh, yeah, I'm gonna do it? Flash. Sorry, I, I kind of uh, cut you off before you had an option to. Yeah, go for it. Uh, so ignore that damage. Costs... Uh, certainly, it's like 49 against the AC. In which case, that yep. is uh, 50 damage. Uh, that is the end of a Heronch's turn. Um... Oh, shit. Uh... Uh... Oh, no, because he did the step as well. Never mind, I thought he was doing something else, but he's not going to. MK. Uh, MK, uh, you do have to make a fortitude save, though, yeah. or take damage, because you're next to a pillar. Yeah. Um, that is not enough to pass. So you will take some slight damage here. See if I roll another three. Well, ten. Um, you're still floating there and light into the gravity tries to pull you in, but you're resisting. Somewhat. Uh, I'm gonna make a mysticism check to, uh, deactivate that pillar. All right. Uh, you look at the various shapes bending in front of you. Uh, that's 42. 42. It's not quite going to do it. But you think you're pretty close there. Uh, anything else? Is that a standard action to do that? Uh, it is a standard action. Yes. Yeah. That is your turn. Then it's going to be the hologram. Um, they're going to keep up their mission under Vehrhaunch's instructions. Just get rid of the robot as quickly as possible. Single slam, as that is... This is the way. <laughs> that does hit. Oh my god. Holy wow. Shit. <laughs> That's a hell of a roll. Jeez. Oh, uh, wow. Okay. He almost kills it in that punch. Uh, Tiny Tim has 10 HP left. Fucking roll 20, man. That was an insane roll. I'd kill for that to happen in Warhammer. It's all D6s in that game. <laughs> I did have a, a roll the other day where I, I rolled like this eight dice, and I needed it to be two ups, and I could re-roll the ones. I rolled five of them as ones and re-rolled four of those as once again. Oh my god. <laughs> this is not ideal. I really fucked up the play. <laughs> Alright, Flax. Right, oh, trick. Uh, also make your I'm four and twos uh, versus the gravity. The oh yeah, let me do that. The rel state unbalances the reality. Uh, you are... Uh, no, this is the higher DC because you're inside the room. That is a fail, so you're going to get pulled 15 feet closer to this one. I probably should have called it, but can I re-roll? Oh, yeah, go uh, for it. Move it back over there. <laughs> that is still just shy. I'll tell you, inside the room is 28, outside the room is 26. And it's like exactly what happened the last time I re-rolled and got one Yeah, it's <laughs> really consistent. Just go up by one each time. Almost was enough that time, though. You're one away. <laughs> All right, I'm still doing what I was going to do. Though. Yeah, yeah, you can still peek out and do all, all that shenanigan. All and I'm going to do, since I didn't move myself, I am going to do my um, quad attack. 
Oh, spicy. Okay, it's on the hair on. Yeah. Alright, this is with the laser pistol. Um, and he is flat footed against right now, correct? Yep. Okay, so. Uh, first one's a hit. And third one's a hit. Alright, so that's gonna be. Let's see, he's. 47. Uh, this is so much damage. He's going to burn one of his resolve points and turn to static. His thing does specify after damage is rolled, just so you guys know. Um, but yeah, you make him burn it uh, flak. He disappears in a cloud of quantum static and reassembles. Uh, although, actually... So does that happen Does that happen after the first one, but the second... That's, the second that's what I'm realizing. I, want, I don't know if it's at the end of the turn or at the end of the shot. Give me one sec. Uh, okay, so this is Static Burst. Um, okay, uh, Veheranch can choose whether to become incorporeal for a split second, in which case their incorporeality applies only the triggering attack, or to become incorporeal until the beginning of their next turn. He's going to do the latter. So it'll be both attacks that go through. I tell you right now, so, he's burning resolve points to do this. He's got a lot fewer, a lot less resolve points than you guys do. Can I just say before we move on, so I don't be the only one trying to remember this? Um, yes. Black, since I'm threatening the Heronch with a melee weapon, and you have line of sight to him, you get a plus one on ranged attacks on him as long as I'm still threatening him and I'm not in your way. That's very cool. Um, yes. So, won't change it this time, but that now is now we important. all know it. <laughs> Let it be known if Zashi's punching this man, we get plus one to hit. Yeah, with a ranged attack. Yeah, all right. Uh, Jax, that's back to you. Uh, so he, he did his thing, but am I still able to shoot him? Like, is that just uh, for he's that corporeal attack? until the top of his turn? He's incorporeal until his, yeah, his so turn. Yeah, you, you right? can't target okay. him right now. Um, I can still hit the one on the top of the pillar, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. He can also do it for his, like, holographic clones. But his clone isn't currently incorporeal, right? Uh, no. His clone, you can shoot his clone. Okay. God damn it. Um, okay, let's see. So it's... The bottom one does hit. Uh, for a clean 40. Or sorry, uh, 49. It was 40 to hit. Uh, I think it's the first time this one's been hit, but that is a pretty big chunk. Uh, what was the fortitude for? Oh, for the pillars, yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, you're fine. Uh, and Zashi. Tiny oh. Tim's gonna... Yes, Tiny Tim. You want him to... Who do you want him to keep hammering? The Civ War Master. The it's War almost Master. dead, right? Uh, it's not almost dead, but... Getting there. So he's working on it. Uh, he will miss the cannon, but he will hit with the missile, which is more ideal anyway. Uh, for 57. The Civ War Master does look bloody now. Okay. Uh, now it is Ashi, excuse me. Okay. Um, uh, first will be a so... fortitude save, and he's not targeted nope. right now. Does that pull me towards? Uh, yes, one. that does pull you towards uh, the nearest one. He's incorporeal, so you can just phase through him. It'll go to this one. Okay. So, with him being incorporeal, I can't hit him with any kind of physical attack is that what that means kind of uh pretty much yeah i mean he's, he's like pure static right now mm -hmm. can Some i just ready my stuff action might work but it would depend on the spell yeah sashi doesn't you could ready an action for him to I... turn solid yeah for as soon as he turns solid uh 
Can I ready an action to onslaught him when he turns solid, or should I ju um, should it just be a standard no, action? Yeah, because onslaught you can't ready a full round action. Okay. All right. Well, she's just crouch down, this up, square up with the light fists, punch this guy. Yeah. Um, oh, and actually, oh, yeah. just uh, can I move and still ready my yeah, attack you, you action? Yeah, you can still move. Okay. Yeah. Just. Probably best to get away from the want... pillar. Yeah, and I don't want. I want to give people as clear of a line of sight to him as they can, if anyone, especially if Flack wants to take it. Okay, there okay. we go. That makes sense. Uh, this guy is going to double slam the robot. He just needs to make one hit. All right, the robot, Tiny Tim, alas, goes down. As with an explosion, you see the Civ War Master step forward. This like weird crackling yellow energy baton in its uh, slimy tentacles. Um, but it did have to do a full round action there. Uh, I think it's gonna stay where it is. It's not gonna stay where it is. It's not gonna five foot step or anything. Uh, cost that is you. As he realizes his tiny Tim cover has just exploded in front of him. <laughs> he looks at the robot and just, uh, toodles. And just uh, walks oh, away. Do you give me the fortitude save, though? Because it might affect your speed. <laughs> First, the, the gravity. Oh, you made it fine, dude. You fucking sprint out of there. And he will try hacking me then. All right, temp number one, baby. Here we go. Direct or attempt direct control of the computer. That is a success. Uh, two more successes during this fight, and he will be fully pulled out of the core. You hear once again that vibrating voice, seemingly coming from the molecules of the air itself. Stay away from the console, you filthy ingrate. Uh, that is his turn. He. Recaporiates back into a physical body. Zashi, take your punch. I don't know why that was the thing that made my cat look up, but he was like, what? Uh, I think he is indeed going to just take that and not burn a resolve point this time. Zashi, boom! An explosion of light on light as he some of his form cracks. Uh, and takes a big old chunk of damage there. Um, hmm, what will he do though? That was just the beginning of his turn. Probably provoke an AOL. That's what I'd do. Probably not, as it turns out, believe it or not. Oh, actually, I know what exactly what the fuck he's gonna do. Um, I need a fortitude save from Koss as he screams at you. Ooh, big money. He tries to teleport you next to him in the way that he did MK. Uh, screaming in disappointment that you resisted the rel state effect. He is instead... Uh, that was his move action. As his main action, he's going to punch at Zashi. The hard light slam. <laughs> Cow tongue. Uh, ooh, maybe a miss. 39 against KAC, Sashi. You're muted. <laughs> <laughs> um, 39 versus KAC? Yeah, I think that's going to hit, actually. All right, um... I'm at 38 right now. And take 85 damage. Okay. Um, and then, as his bonus action, he is going to summon another hard light hologram. Uh, this time on the pillar next to Flack. That is the end of his turn. MK, it is over to you. Nailed the fortitude. 
Uh, and I'm going to... It, sorry, did we just say it's a standard action or a bonus action to interact with the pillars? Uh, it's a standard action. Uh, is that plus uh, anything? 42. 42? Okay, you do... You wrap magic around it. Those, sim those three circles of triune spiral around the weird polygons that are shifting in the pillar and shut them down completely. That is two pillars down. Nice. Right. Oh, you can hear him growling in annoyance. Almost animalistic at this point. All right, it's the hard lights now. Um. Deadlights. <laughs> All right. Uh, one of them is gonna turn around and try and slam into Flack. The other one is going to hop down. Run over to Koss. And we're going to get a punch on Flack, punch on Koss. Flack, you first. Uh, that is going to be 47. Which does for sure hit, I assume. Give me 47 bludgeoning, and then Koss. Koss is going to get crit. So I'll just roll it twice. 46 and 44 for a total of 90 against Koss in one hit. Minus 14 because of strange anatomy. Oh, shit. Nice. All right. Flack. Strange anatomy. <laughs> so fucked up. Uh, Flack, go ahead and give me a fort save to see if you get fucking bludgeoned by that pillar. Uh, do you want to re-roll, or...? Uh, yeah, I better re-roll it. To be fair, if it's worth... If it's resolve points doing that, you, it's only 2d12 damage, for what that's worth. Anyway, yeah, so... I'll that does pass, though. For, you're fine. Okay, I will, um... And, uh, I will take... Yeah, I will move real quickly here... Just to get away from that pillar and away from both pillars. I take no attack of opportunity because of my um, brand new improved uncanny mobility. Holy shit. And I will do a trick check. You guys see Flack moving so fast. It's almost like the har the hologram is like underwater. You can't even touch him. Just whoop, zips away. Uh, who's this on? Uh, Varanch. That does make him flat-footed. That will not hit, though, even though flat-footed. Once again, the beam impacts his body and does that prismatic spray uh, spreads across the room. All right, uh, Jax, go ahead with that fort to start. Sorry, I'm just in the middle of trying to get my computer, my laptop ready for work. Uh, <laughs> oh, fortitude good. save. Uh, yeah, just for the normal. Oh, actually, uh, yes. For the fortitude uh, save. Should I? I think I just exited out. Hold on. <laughs> You're good. Um, I just realized like it's going to be so long. On my leg, as I'm using like two mice to use my computer and my laptop trying to get it ready. I was gonna say, it, even if they, even if you fail and they drag you, the two nearest pillars to you aren't active, so that's very good for you. Nope, oh, nope, oh. wrong thing. <laughs> it's okay. I don't think it changed your actual initiative. Um, that is a fail. Give me a D two, I guess. See which of the other pillars you're pulled toward. Uh, Actually, you're, you're, honestly, you're so equidistant at the door, I think you're just going to go straight forward 15. Alright. So, you'll just go to there. Uh, shield comes with you. Um, the one on Koss, I can target him, right? Uh, yeah, for sure. Honestly, right. without with the robot destroyed, uh, you probably have an angle on this dude, too. I want to go after the one fucking with Koss. Fair enough. Just throwing out, uh, throwing out options. 
Uh, that is three hits in a row. Cost, you try to, like, ignore it as much as possible. You're tapping away at the hologram nice. keyboard. And boom, boom, boom. Three massive impacts. Uh, this thing was pretty full health. You drop it to bloody right away. Nice. Below blade, actually, by a good margin. Um, robot's dead, so Zashi. Um, do I need to make a fort save to start? Uh, yes, you do indeed. Uh, you're gonna get dragged over to this one. Keeps dragging me back. Yes. Well, you know what? It put me there, and I didn't use my movement to get there. Um... Could I use Cleave, even though the one's standing on a, on the pillar? Or how high up is he, I guess? Oh, uh, yeah, you could Cleave. It's on diagonal. He's like, if we're okay. in cubes instead of squares, he's in front of you, one cube up. Other guys to your left, one cube down. So the connected yeah. on the diagonal. Okay, so I'll swing for Vaharaj first. Sounds good. Uh, impact his body. It's like a ripple of light roll through it, but doesn't damage him. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think that that stops me. I but, uh... That, yeah. Um... Sorry, trying to decide if I should stay put or Oh, the pillars do damage if you're next if you start next to them, right? Uh yes, correct. Okay. Yeah, then I'll move. Fair enough. Um Although I think if you move too much they would both op attack you. Unless you have Shenan. I will spend my resolve point, and I don't want their op attacks. All right, fair enough. They both, like, slam the ground behind you, but you just cartwheel away. All right, this one over here. Um, it is going to spend an action, and who is within its sight? It's not MK, because he's hidden. And you'd have to focus this way. All right, Koss, Zashi, and Flak, give me a will save as its eyes flare yellow. I'm going to spend a resolve point to reroll. Okay. Uh, all right. Everyone but Zashi passes. Zashi, uh, you are currently staggered. For four rounds, and as long as you remain staggered, you will have a minus two to attack sieves. Annoying. Um, that was its move action to do that, and then it is going to try and shoot. Someone's got to try. It's going to try and shoot Jax with a uh, mutation gun. Maybe. All right. Uh, Jax. I don't think it's going to do it. 40, I'm into it 48 into EAC? EAC? Yeah. Yeah, it hits. Okay. Um, it was not a crit, though, so it can't try to mutate you into a monkey. Or probably a goldfish or something in this case. Uh, it's going to be 66 damage. Yeah, that's not magic, correct? Uh, it is not magic. If it matters, that was acid. I, I think the DR magic um, doesn't really stack with other things, so I think it's just the uh, 10 less. Just 10. Fair enough. All right. Uh, boss. What's the play? Do you try to fight with those at your back, or you just... Keep going for the terminal. Is 
Eh, he's already been hit a couple times. Oh, cheap back. Oh shit. I want to see if somebody can get close to get close to dying so he can use his death stuff. Oh, they're gonna try, my guy. Uh, 43. 43. Let me double check. Um, that is a success. Uh, which means if you do one more, you can turn it off. Remember, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be three consecutive successes. So you're one consecutive success away. All right, the hair on. He's going to stupidly oh, yeah. taunt. <laughs> Who is he taunting? Which one? Big gonna... boy? Yeah, this is just as he's hacking. Let's, <laughs> let's see who can kill each other first. I'm almost there. So you go ahead and chat. <laughs> All right, um... All right, he is going to let out a scream. Spend a point here. I need all five of you to make a fortitude save. God damn it. 30. Is it mine to find? Spending a point to reroll that. Uh, it is not mind affecting. Did... Okay, good. Okay. Um, let's go down the list. Jax. Or, sorry, Flack. Pass. Zashi. Pass. MK. Fail. That's a 30 because of transcendence. Oh, that's a pass then because you're transcendent. Cost. Fail. Alright, Cost is the only one that failed then. Um, in an attempt to keep you from getting to the computer, he is going to tell, he's going to re redistribute all of you, but he is going to redistribute just costs uh, as far as he can to the other side of the room to try to stop anyone doing a third successful hack. God, I'm burning through fucking resolve points here. He is then going to, in that same movement, or sorry, that was his uh, move action to do that. He's also going to shoot Koss in an, uh, an attempt to keep him even more away. Koss is going to be another beam. That is going to crit. Uh, Koss is going to take 111, reduced by whatever your strange anatomy is. Beam rips through the air. You and your ilk, none of you will stand before the sieve. Uh, MK, that is you. Uh, 29 on the, uh... That is a success. You resist the pillars. Pillar. Thank God. Uh... You shut down the pillar. With three out of six in the room gone, the rel state starts to rumble. Uh, in that picture I sent before, you see all those very like is beams and planes and angles of light start to flicker. Uh, the rel abilities in here are getting harder and harder to wield. Fuck your chi. And boom. MK flying over there, still floating. Beautiful purple symbol of Triune. Hard light holograms. One's gonna hop off the pillar. Head to Flak. Other one. Heading to MK. This is gonna be a punch on Zashi and a punch on Flak. Let's start. 
uh, with you, Flack. Hard light slam for 48. That'll be a hit. Uh, 48 to Flack. It is going to crit Zashi. I don't like it. That's going to be 110, and Zashi, I need you to make a fortitude save. Alright, there is such an intense impact of light throughout the room. Uh, as hologram slams into Zashi's gloves. Uh, Zashi, you are blinded. Great. Oh no. Blinded, staggered. Yeah. So your eyes kind of blink, uh, can't <laughs> see anything in the room. Taste and confused. I heard but I do have blind fight, so. You do have blind fight, but you know. Oh, okay. yes. I can't write who gets crit. <laughs> Uh, Flack, that's you. She's still not on her A game. Yeah, it's probably still right. concerning. It's like the whole room fucking I'm into fades. My HP. Flack will run to the computer terminal and try and get that third computer check. No! Here, Veron Troar. Uh, is there any bonus uh, to that? I th think I want to re roll that. Okay. One more time. Because I, I get. It, well, it's advantage, not. I think it's just advantage. Yeah, I don't think you have to you yeah, just do it twice. We'll do that. Beautiful. Yeah. What a fucking... All right. Almost breaking the streak of three uninterrupted hacks. Flack hits his jets, runs around the hologram, can't be op attacked because of his level 20 status. And as you approach, quickly enter in the final shutdown codes, you hear Veher Anj let out a truly soul-chilling screech. You see the two hologram uh, versions of himself flicker and vanish. And you see his holographic state Ooh. begin to get corrupted. And you see like multiple like image errors, like weird fractal patterns that don't line up as he begins to get corrupted. <laughs> Jax, that's you. All right. I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna bother with deadly aim. I'm just gonna try to hit him. All right, go for your shots. Level of a giant gun. Uh, miss, and then he is gonna go intangible, so you can't hit him with the rest. All right. And he's gonna go intangible to the top of his turn. So Zashi it is your turn, but he can't be hit. Okay. This is my first turn in which I'm staggered, right? Correct. Like I became staggered and I don't So you still I've have like three turns like left till it's over. Yeah. So I'm going to use my keep fighting ability. Um I can get some stamina. I spend a resolve point to get some stamina back. Oh nice. You take a in second. Fight. <sighs> Catch your breath. Yeah. So that will be Let's see. It says 3d6, but that doesn't sound right. 2d6 plus your soldier. I think. Here, maybe I can just copy this next over. Because I'm just a little uncertain how many d6s I'm supposed to be rolling. 22d6. Oh, wait, no. It's equal to 2d6 plus... Your, I thought it was... Okay, no. no 2d6 okay, plus your level. So 2d6 plus 20 is the stamina. But then the oh, and then, yeah. It increases by 1. So is that... So 3... Would you say that's 5? Yeah, 5d6 plus 20. Okay. Cool. Okay. It's a little bit. Damn, little okay. Bit catch a second wind. And that's my turn. All right. Um, that's gonna be this guy. Ah, <sighs> Veronch, we can still fix this. 
He is going to point his, uh, let's go, mutagenic rifle. He's going to go for the double tap on Flack as punishment for what you just did. Come at me, bro. That is a miss <laughs> on one of my dice, but on the uh, Signal of Screams dice, that is a nat 20. <sighs> which means this is going to deal double damage, and I need you to give me a fortitude save. Oh, that was a very important time for a fortitude uh, save. He's about to nice. mutate the fuck out of you. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> What's the damage? Um, hold on. Uh, 14, D10. Um, uh, 109 acid damage. You take it. All right. Uh, cost. That is you up in the corner. that he just got the wind knocked out of him. Um, he's gonna move up here, and then as a swift action, he will activate his biosynthetic nanites that he, I finally remembered that he has. <gasps> nanites flood your bloodstream, beginning to repair the damage. Um, and then, then, then. He will shoot at the one that just shot Flack with his uh, ice card. Alright, go for it. Also, at the top of this round, we'll take a bathroom break. I know there's been a lot of fighting. A very dramatic point right now. Now, that does impact the Civ War Master, but does not hurt him. <laughs> Alright, that's going to be the hair on. Uh, I need everyone to give me another fortitude save as he does another rel state pulse through the room. You guys do see, though, he's been regenerating this whole time. He does not seem to be regenerating health anymore after you guys did the uh, three consecutive turnoffs. I'm using a point to pre roll again. Okay. What is. Jesus. Okay, hold on. Let's go through. Uh, all right. Zashi, fail. Flack, you rolled again, right? So uh, 29 is the higher. Uh, Flack passes. Uh, Jax, what was your higher one? It's Jax fails. Um, I'd assume a 24 also fails. Uh, you also fail, yes. So I think only Flack passed. <clears throat> Entirely too many fortitude saves in this fight. Line up, motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> that was his bonus action. Move action. So and then finally, fucking giant blue beam straight through the four of you. <laughs> uh, Flack, yeah, you see, uh... <laughs> Them all get lined up by that, and like, oh, that's not good. It's not good. <laughs> not, not ideal. Would would I be? Would he have flipped me around so my shield's not facing? Uh, yes, him? he absolutely would have. He could put you in any direction. <laughs> okay. What an asshole. Uh, he doesn't give a fuck. Alright, uh, giant backwash of hard light fires through all of you. Let's go one attack at a time. This was more ideal than I would have thought. Alright, Zashi, you're first. Yep. Zashi, that is a 43 against EAC. Yep. Um, what the fuck is this? Okay, uh, 49 damage. MK, that is a crit. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> you get a bail? Flash the fuck out of there. MK, you see the beam <laughs> approaching? Like, the, your whole vision goes blue and white, and you just get away. Alright, so the no. 
crit does nothing. <laughs> Good job. Cost that is a 47 against EAC. I can't. I don't know why. I'm. I'm literally switching dice between crits. Uh, 64 for cost. You always crit on cost too. What the fuck? No, co cost didn't get crit. He. That was fine. Oh, okay. But I've got the most crits. I for <laughs> sure have. Dude, like, I'll make the dice up. They they roll what they may. Oh my god. All right, it's gonna crit Jax too. <laughs> you you all brought this on yourselves that time. That's not on me. <laughs> so sorry, I, I Peter just crashed there for a sec. Um, oh, uh, what was that? A, was that a is that a save or is it just an attack? Uh, that was just his beam went through all of you. He makes one attack on each of you. Okay, and it's the same damage for cost. Did sixty four oh. take you out? I thought you were at like a hundred and three. No, it didn't take me out. I just <laughs> hadn't inputted the new number. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, I was oh like what? Yeah. I was like, are you like double vulnerable to hard light or something? Uh, oh, dude, we love to see the Master Chief represented in Starfinder. Jack, you take 117 damage. Is this? Magical? It was a crit. Uh, it is. Oh, actually, does this beam count as magic? Hold on. Does not count as magic. So 107. Alright. Alright, that's his turn, MK. Go ahead and give me a fortitude save because you're near a pillar. Uh, yeah, about enough of these. You're good. Seven. If MK had stayed there for a crit, that would have been like three hundred damage against the party in one in one shot. Yeah. Uh. Truly obscene. Oh, sorry. Also, we are. Yeah. Uh, once MK is got done, then we'll uh, take our break. That'll be top of the order. Yeah. Do I do I get the feeling having interacted with a couple of these pillars now? Do I get the feeling that shutting down another one will have uh, a beneficial effect, or will it just? Or will it not? <laughs> uh, I think you know everyone shut down helps someone. <laughs> okay. What I was thinking while everybody's together would be a great time to drop my haste on them, but... I think you would know, honestly, you've already made checks, I think you would know that, like, it's, it's a... It's threshold, so it's like, two was good, then, like, half was good, then four will be good. Uh, then finally yeah. you need to get to six is, like, the final threshold. The fifth one won't really matter. Uh, 37, okay. though, won't turn it off. Damn it. Alright, uh, let's take a quick bio break and we'll come back at the top of the order with Flack.
in it to win it. All right, we back. All right, Flack, top of the order. Oh, shoot. All right, uh, what do I want to do? After that clutch uh, hack last turn. Could get rid of this because I'll finish that later. Um, yeah, so I am going to do a uh, trick attack, trick quad attack here. Oh, do you want a uh, fortitude save before uh, I yes, do that? Yes, I do. All right, you get sucked I over. I will spend a resolve point to read. Oh, oh, fuck. Yeah, you're good. Feel the gravity, like, dig your fucking boots into the ground. Not going to move over this. All right. And Let's I'm going go. to quad attack. Maybe? Um, let's see. Sorry, I'm just going to look up. So 35, 26. Uh, the first one does hit. And I think because he knows you do trick attack, he's going to go intangible for the whole turn. I'm going to tell him no. Do you have a way to stop him? No, I'm just going to say no. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Uh, you is, attempt. Is that it. an intimidation or uh, um, diplomacy? Believe it or not, uh, that is neither. He's gonna just flat out refuse. <laughs> okay, fine. I love this dude. <laughs> um, and I will. Uh, oh no, I used the full, so I can't. Okay. All uh -huh. right. Uh, in that case, uh, Jacques. Uh, move action, spin the... the, uh, shield around. Yeah. I'm going to... That was I'm the funniest thing no. to me about his ability, that he can position... it doesn't can position you any facing any way, so he just turned your ass around with the shield. Yeah. I'm going to standard action, make a kill shot at this guy. That one? Oh, yep. That guy certainly can't go intangible. So... I think you don't have to spend it unless you hit him, though, so that's good. Okay. That does hit him. Uh, I assume you are going to spend it. Yep. He will pass it this time. Uh, but even so, that 58 uh, brings him to bloody. Fair. He had been healing a little bit, but that was a big, that was a big chunk. Oh, uh, fortitude save. He, he passed it. That's what I was saying. No, for, uh, for, for myself. Oh, for, for yourself. The, uh, Sorry. I was like, yeah, yeah. I guess you'd be pulled toward this pillar's closest. Okay, so you go... Hey. Do I still get the yeah. cover from uh, the shield from the hair Uh Currently, yes, unless he like shifts somewhere like diagonal up or anything like that. Okay. All right, that's this dude. All right, cost. Let's put these supposedly staying alive abilities to the fucking test. Uh, he's gonna double shoot you with the degenerator. Did you skip Sashi? Oh, did I double skip Sashi? My bad. I think it just... It oh, I think through. I double tapped. Yes, yes, yes. Sashi, go first. Ignore me. Okay. That's, I'm not going to do a lot, but... Um, let's see. First, I have to make a fort save, right? To see if I get pulled anywhere. Yes. Uh, you do get pulled... I'm gonna say there's just more active on this side of the room, so you're gonna get pulled toward the bottom one. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> say the robot corpse got crumpled in gravity over here, so get out of the way. Yep. Um, I will move up to Vaharanj, and that's all I can do. All right. But I'm threatening him. You're threatening him. I got my, I got, I got my stuff out. All right. I'm trying to look intimidating. I assume you're ready in action to punch him. Or... No, I'm still staggered. Oh. So. Yeah. Uh, and blind. <laughs> and blind. Um, I forgot about that. So I'm just 
trying to make him think that I can still hit him All right, enough Koss. to yeah. help others, maybe. Cost is going to be two hits uh, with the mutation rifle, neither enough to mutate you. Uh, but it's 58 and then 67. I believe you drop to unconscious after the second hit. What are your mighty shenanigans that you've told us about? I do drop, so I will spend, I think it's been a resolve point. I haven't read it in a while. <laughs> but I will use Die Hard. <laughs> oh, what a good name! I believe it's on my turn, but still. Yeah, basically you spend it in, on this, and usually it's like multiple turns. You're just gonna come back at one immediately because you go next. He's like, ah, another one. The first one dies, Van Uh Then you get up at one. Like, are you sure about that? I didn't hear no bell. <laughs> and then. That's so oh, good. Understood. It's also so good that you're right after him, too, in the fucking order. Oh, my goodness. Funny. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not going to say that. But anyway. Um. Do. I would understand if I need to, but do I need to reactivate the biosynthetic nanites? Uh, let me read about synthetic nanites. They might just keep going even if you're down, actually. Hold on. Uh, no, they should still be going. So once you get back up, it will uh, keep that healing going. Cool, cool. So I go from one to seven. It's also so dope that you got that from the last campaign. Like that's where you bought it. Um, and then, and then. So many possibilities. Um, he's actually just going to stay on the ground so he can activate his, um, reactivate his combat tracking. Hell yeah, on uh, then, the hair? Yeah. And then shoot. Uh, he's going to specifically shoot with the needler pistol. That's on... Well, the Anch is still intangible, so I assume it's on the lower one. Oh, yeah, that would be a hold action, then. Uh, oh, hold it till he becomes, intang or becomes tangible? Yeah. All right, well, a 34 is going to hit, so we'll come back to that right now. So 34... Or it, uh... Oh, it wouldn't hit, but Zashi's next to him giving you guys plus one, so that does hit. Yes. Okay. Too distracted by Zashi's that hitting. does hit. Um, he's not going to stop this. Takes 17. Good to need a fortitude save. He does pass the fortitude save, unfortunately. Yeah. But as he's incapable of healing anymore, any amount of damage is truly ideal. What the fuck's he going to do? He can no longer create hol holograms. That is very unfortunate. All right. Um, he is going to uh, spend a, a point to basically have multiple instances of him in a quantum state attack Zashi. So this first attack is with advantage, which does crit. And this is his slam this time. Okay. 
That's gonna be 144 on Zashi as he. Boom. Oh, guys, that's. Tentacle that's bad. slams into Zashi's chest. You hear Zashi, one of your ribs or something goes. If I didn't have those temporary HP, I'd be down. That's exactly as many hit points as I have. Holy shit. Um, he was multi attacking, but he only gets the advantage on the first one. Second one does miss, though. So you take 144 and he misses the second one. Thank goodness. Um, that's his turn, he thinks. MK. Time for that mind thrust, right? Well, I can mind thrust or I can try to heal somebody. Austin's actually looking pretty bad. Flack, are you even, are you in hit points yet? Nope. Still in stamina. I figured. Zashi staggered for I think two more rounds. Guys are so powerful. I think you're yeah. uh, so doing pretty well here. Zashi is staggered. Her. It's not like she can do much. Um, Koss would say I could do this a couple more times, so he would suggest Zashi. Because Die Hard does not have a limit to how many times a day you can do it. It's just as long as you have resolve. Oh, points. that's actually that's nice. big, dude. Holy shit. I actually, I have that too. I haven't, I took it recently. Um, so. These guys are so strong now. I don't down you as often. <laughs> so you can do that too? Yeah, shit. Yeah, MK. Hit him. Okay, getting real close here. What's going on? Yeah, I'm on the fence. Oh, give me oh, a fort save me. first, actually. See if you get that damage. Yeah, yeah. You're good. You're fine. 33. Uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, hit him with that mind thrust. Hit him with that mind thrust. Uh, so speed. Does he still have spell resistance? He does still have spell resistance. That is uh, innate enough that he doesn't lose it when things get powered down. Oh, that does go through, though. Yeah, love it. All right, I need... Oh, what is that as a... Can he dodge Will this? Save? I don't think he can dodge this. No, it's got to be a... Will save. Um, all right, he's going to have to just hope that he has whatever this shenanigan is going to be. Oh, I mean, but he definitely does. He's level, he's CR 20. He's got five saves. Uh, yeah, 38. Yeah, still takes half. Um, but he's uh, still going to take half of what I assume is going to be a massive brain blast here. And he is uh, fatigued for one round. Okay, he's also fatigued. Also, he should still be... Uh... Oh yeah, he's still he's still uh, encumbered or whatever. Him being encumbered has saved a few melee things happening. Um, okay, so basically ninety divided by two. All right. Uh, he's gonna take half of that, and he is now officially bloodied. I like to imagine MK fills his mind with just like snapshots of all the different packed world societies absolutely functioning and thriving without the intervention of the sith <laughs> just like, like so clearly progress of civilization while they were gone uh all right flock you know that fortitude save so we got a few active pillars in the in the works you're good <laughs> you're golden all right i'm going to quad attack with my trick <laughs> yeah. He um, he blinks and briefly like loses sight of you as you just blend perfectly into like the rel uh quantum lines running across the room. Oh, there's a crit in there. Okay, he's absolutely burning the final time that he can do the static thing. He's going to go incorporeal. God damn it. He can't do it anymore though. He's out of them. Well, he wasn't about to sit there and take Already 150 damage before flak attack. Alright, that's okay. It's okay. I got more. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna. It's you, Dex. 
I'm trying to try to end this one down here because it's the only thing I can do. Alrighty. Bipod up. Bipod activate. Massive fucking mech. Uh, two hits, one miss. Was what the twenty six hit us EAC? Uh, uh no. Alright. Uh, that is still 106 damage. Do you think, like, one more shot from your cannon and this dude's toast? Maybe two All if right. you rolled really bad. Alright. Zashi, it's your turn. Well, since I'm in front of him, I can try to hit him. You can indeed. You are taking uh, a minus two to hit him, though. Because of staggered? Uh, because w while you're staggered, you're also getting minus two to hit Sibs. Oh, okay. That's just it's like a. It was like of... a two-part ability of his uh, domineering gaze. Flat-footed okay. use that out. Um. Oh, you already mathed that. Maybe. He well, he also is still incorporeal for what all this is worth. Mm. But you could ready an action to punch him, just with that minus two penalty. Okay. Yeah, I'll ready my action to hit him. Um. And when I do, I'll have to do all the blind fight stuff to see if I can get past the fact that I can't see him. But uh, do that when we get there. That's that's my turn. Fair enough. One more round left of being staggered. This guy, he's going to try and double tap the two of you that are low. One on Koss, one on Zashi. Cost it'll hit min damage drops you, but you're gonna get back up in a second anyway on your turn. You guys see cost boom take another beam of like yellowish orange energy uh, hits the deck Zashi. That is a hit. I don't think it'll be enough to kill you or down you anyway, not flat out kill you. Oh, wait, shit. Is this the? Sorry, there's so many profiles I'm doing. Okay, this is the D10. Zashi takes 43, but is still up. Uh, and then Barely. he's just gonna five foot step for cover behind the pillar. Alright, Koss, I assume you're spending that resolve point to get back up at one. Yep. Um. <laughs> It should not die. be healthy to die and revive yourself so many times. Oh, yeah, this is probably not great on your fucking system. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he's Perhaps gonna do it all again. <laughs> yeah, I'm a doctor and a xenobiologist and a <laughs> whole lot of things. He wears a lot of hats. A, he's he's a, lot, a lot of hats on those horns. <laughs> um, so yeah, do it again. Combat tracking, shoot with the carbine. Does not stand up. <laughs> I can imagine you just turn over on your stomach and lay prone, go for the shot. Great shooting position. Fortunately, that does not get him, though. Alright, Vahir Anch is going to recorporealize. Uh, Zashi, take a swing. <laughs> And then he's going to burn his final resolve point. Uh, with the minus two because of the uh, domineering gaze, that does miss. But he's flat footed. Uh, even with flat footed. Alright. Last use of his resolve. I will not give up this ship! There's another massive pulse of blue rel light. You guys see the light envelop you all? Everyone give me another fortitude save as it tries to line you up for one more beam. I'm gonna spend a resolve point to reroll. There we go. Son of a bitch. Oh. Alright. I, I will also one. spend a resolve point and reroll. Okay, okay. That's better. <laughs> okay, so Jax ended up with a 34. Pass. 
costs 31 pass. MK is a fail. Zashi passes. And Flak turns his fail into a pass. So just MK. How can I position MK to line the most of you up? I think you're at most going to get two. No, I think because he still has a movement. Oh, okay. I think I could pull off three. Because a line can be a zigzag effect. Okay. MK. You're going to appear here. He's going to five foot step and in a zigzag diagonal get the three to his right. Geometry, baby. <laughs> um, all right, let's go with Zashi first. So much. Uh, 41 against EAC. Yeah, that hits. Uh, minimum damage, you go down for sure. Yep. All right, the beam boom, punches through Zashi, almost like right uh, where the kidney would be on her right side, goes through her out to MK. MK, uh, it's gonna be, yeah, 46 against EAC as well. Yeah, that's gonna hit. Alright. But it's not gonna do any damage. Are you, are you gonna leave again? Yeah. <laughs> God, you would've taken, what you would've taken, like, now. hundreds of damage if you hadn't used that so many times. Alright, uh, yeah. MK disappears, so Flak, one more roll for you. It's an at 20 on Flack, though, baby. And Flack, I assume you can't fucking teleport? I cannot teleport. Alright, Flack is gonna take 118 as the beam slams into him. Um, sweet Christmas. Are you in health yet, Flack? No. God, yes, you're insane. Uh, MK, that's you. Uh, Jax, are you into your health points? No. Health points? No. no. Alright. I think I could uh, throw a fucking MK. god at you guys, and the rest of you would be down before I could get into hit points. <laughs> you, you kind of just stop targeting me after a while. Well, <laughs> the enemies you're fighting are smart enough to realize, like, oh, we're literally never hitting him. <laughs> Like, I like to imagine all the video cameras on this ship were just like, yeah, so uh, that guy just got punched by, like, a 80-ton gravity mushroom and just nothing happened. That was pretty crazy. <laughs> I will say that my shield regenerating has, has helped me keep up in the stamina. Oh, I bet. How much is your shield regenerating around? Uh, seven around. Well, I mean, that's pretty big. That yeah, adds up. That's a lot. That's almost yeah. 50 that it's protected now if we're on round. Yeah, because we're on round seven now because that was one too low. That is big. And they had that 45 temporary to start with. True. That helped a lot of you guys. So, MK is going to whip out a spell gem. Oh, fuck. Uh, crush it up on the back of his hand and uh, uh, ride a fat rail of white lightning <laughs> as he casts Mystic Cure Mass. Oh, Zashi and uh, guys, feel like the slight, like tinkling nice. sound, like the crystal shattering, and then just a like dome of r purple energy rips through the room, uh, healing Koss and Zashi. How much is that gonna heal him? Thirty-three both. Oh shit! Roll. Ha <laughs> ha. That means I'm conscious again. Yeah, you're back conscious. You're up. Do you even need to spend a resolve? <laughs> Koss is fucking back in the yellow. He's at 40. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, any other movement, MK? Uh, movement? No. I'm just going to invite that dude to shoot me in the back. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Well, it's either he gets a clear shot of me or Viraj gets a clear shot of me. Yeah, not, not great choices, to be honest. Uh, Flack. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna take my full attack against Verange. <gasps> the audacity. <laughs> That'll do. You'll never see it coming. Start. 
Uh, the 35 does hit right off the bat. Um, it's 53. It's a bit of resistance on those, but still. All right. The hair on. Plus one from Nashi's threatening him with a melee. He does, but that's not going to make any more hit besides that 35 originally. So I will do um, at the end of this yep. whatever damage, and then um, I can't do knockout shot because I already tried that on him. But I think I you're pretty do... sure he's hard to knock out as like a hologram. Yeah, but I can do a thing here. Hold on, give me just a second to find it. Flack looking for the whatever shenanigans he can do. Yeah, there's a. I can add a. Um, not only will he be flat footed, but he'll be off target until the beginning of my next turn. Mm -hmm. For my debilitating trick. So many tricks. Not enough time. Yeah, Fleck just has to hit, and then he can do stuff. <laughs> it's just hitting. It's the problem. That's fair. Uh, all right, so no, no other shenanigans on those? That's it. Off target and flat footed. All right. Jax. Jax. Okay, Jax. uh. Yeah. Let me just click that on. Another onslaught. Who are we slot? Onslaught. Big boy? Yeah, for, for Hanch. Alright, that's gonna be a miss and a hit and a hit. Uh, it means DR is gonna apply twice. I ignore DR up to 10. Up to 10? Okay, a little bit more than that then. Alright, the Hanch is down in the red. He's looking extremely bad. You see his hologram is flickering in and out of existence. <sighs> it's not too late. I can still kill all of you. All of you will die just like the rest of your precious packed worlds. Does that suck me closer to the pillar? Uh, it does, yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. Oh. Yeah. You're somewhere in there. I'm getting close. All right. And does that do damage? Uh, no, not unless you start your turn next to it. All right. Score to just keep the battlefield confusing. All right, Zashi. Zashi's gonna punch forward. Nope. Uh, I need a little bit more than that, even the flat-footed. All right. All right, this dude. He is gonna try and double shot MK here. Not even the guy next to him. Um, I guess he would. Well, it's all. It's what Bear Haranch would order. I'm trying to think. I don't even know if he'd shoot MK or you. Because he's gonna go for who's the biggest threat to Bear Haranch right now. I guess it's you or Flack, honestly. I haven't done shit to Bear Haranch. I think he would order Jax or Flack. We're gonna do. Uh, he might, wouldn't hit Flack. He wouldn't hit Flack. Uh, Flack might be a little bit. Ever, Nobody but, uh... even sees Flack. He doesn't even know where he is. <laughs> Alright, one shot on Flack, and then his other arm's gonna fucking slap Jax with the military degenerator. So, Flack first. Uh, benefit of having all these tentacles, he can have a lot of weapons out. Uh, Flack, that's gonna be... Uh, f even 40 against EAC. Uh, that hits. Kind of sad no one's been turned into a little animal yet, but that's okay. Uh, 62 acid on Flack, and then Jax, he's going to go in with EAC against you with the uh, military generator. Maybe? Uh, 42 against EAC. There's no penalty from being within melee? No. Okay. Yeah, that hits. Okay. Um. Then the shield is he... not currently facing him. <laughs> Shit. Sorry, that was not the right formula. Uh, fifty-one to Jax. Yep. And costs.
So um, I have a thing, real quick. Yep. Uh, that that just went into my HP. So okay. I am going to do. Uh, I am going to just laugh. <laughs> you think you could beat us? We are the crew of the Solosia, you piece of shit. Everybody gets a, um, a uh, two, 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 plus two bonus to AC until the end of my next turn. Yo! Flack laughs in the face of danger and the whole crew is motivated. One last push, that's all you guys need. All right. And that is my reaction. Alrighty, uh, in that case, Koss, it is still you. Um, he's finally gonna stand up. Hell yeah. <laughs> we love to see it. And even if this hits, it's not gonna do much, but he's gonna cast energy ray on. not. on this. Stupid that keeps killing it. This guy down here, he would have some cover, but yeah. Yeah, because Jax is huge. Gigantic, ginormous. I don't know why I rolled dice, but it probably does <laughs> Ray, that is 30. That does still hit him. Phew. A little bit of damage there. Alright, that is the hair on. Um, and it's. Oh, yeah. It's lightning. It's, yeah, electric, whatever it's called in this universe. Uh, it seems to do full damage, but it doesn't seem to, like double it or anything. Alright. The hair Anch. True maniac, if ever there was one. Alright. He's out of shenanigans. So. Um, he is going to double fire his beam through Zashi and Flack. Alright, first shot on Zashi from the first beam is a miss, but it still goes through to Flack. Crits Flack? Jesus Christ. Uh, that's the... Flack, you get hit for 129. That was so many eights. Jeez. Unless you have any shenanigans to stop that, you guys see the beam. Zashi dives out of the way, and Flack, after encouraging guys, takes it full to the chest. Drops. No, <laughs> Flack! Uh, second one. Flack's already prone, so it's going to miss him, but still one more on Zashi. Zashi, uh, 38 against EAC. Does that hit? Um. You think that that would be an easy answer? <laughs> oh, against EAC? Yes. Awesome. Uh, no, thanks to Flack's encouragement, puts me at a thirty-nine. <sighs> Flack's words echo through your mind. We're the crew of the Solosia, and you dive out of the way again. The beam strikes the computer equipment. And that is the end of his turn. MK. I'm going to take a step over here, and I'm going to lash out at him with literally a piece of my soul. Uh, Fuck. This is not affected by spell resistance. Oh! It's just a straight attack against uh, his EAC. 
So, give me a second because I gotta do this math. I think I still get the plus one because it's a ranged attack from Zashi. Okay. So, it's just gonna be Bab plus Wisdom. His soul is the one. Thirty-six. That does hit EAC. Oh, thank God. Uh, uh, so MK lets out a scream and takes twenty-four points of hit point damage. And oh. is there any sort of saving throw or anything? No. As long as I hit him, he takes it. I take as many hit points of damage as dice that I roll damage. And at 6th level, that's 24d8. MK kind of unfolds from that cross-legged position he's been floating in as he's been purely attuned to the starlight of the universe. As you stand up, you extend one hand, and you see one by one, the three circles that make up Triune Symbol spiral in front of your hand and then fly forward as like a flat disc. They slam into his body like, don't, not, 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 go, not. And then, boom, the hologram detonates apart. But as Vahir Anch passes and his spirit leaves the AI, so too does the limited supply of energy from the star stone he's harnessed. Oh, shit. All right. Even as he disappears, let me make sure I get this save right. You see, the light of his hologram seems to fade, but whatever that material was, whatever that soul was, it gathers in the center of the room as a singularity starts oh, to form. As this happens, let's see. I've not used the spell for even one sec. All right. Uh, the singularity is going to activate on his turn, and he is going to have to make an attack against each creature within thirty of you as the singularity grows. I guess it would have been where he was, so... Over there. Alright, that is going to be all of you. This has to exceed your KAC plus 8. Alright, MK. It needs to be to 53. Uh, 48. Close. You feel the pull of gravity, but you've mastered oh, the stars. Does it matter? Zashi, definitely a fail. I'm not even going to count that up. Koss. Um, Koss, that is... 41, also a fail, I would imagine. Mm -hmm. And then... Not, I imagine not enough for you, Jax. 49 is not your KAC no. plus 8, I imagine. That would have hit my regular KAC. Alright. You guys so, stand sorry, unfazed as the Before, black hole... Go ahead. Sorry, I, I was doing CMD plus 8. Uh, my KAC plus 8, he would have beaten with a 48. Okay, so MK... You threw everything you had into that attack, and it unbalanced you for a moment. Everyone else is all right, but you get pulled closer. Um, uh, as it pulls you in, how many did it exceed uh, that by? Like, what? what is your uh, case? Uh, 
Okay, C plus 8 is 45. Okay, so it would move you 10 feet closer. Uh, you do not start taking damage yet, but you're getting pulled toward the singularity. Alright, um... It is Flak's turn. Uh, uh Flak... Spend resolve point yep. to not die. Spend resolve point to not die. You are stabilized. Um, and then it is going to go over to Jax. So, you said it's pulling at MK? It's pulling at everyone. Yeah. It just only managed to really pull MK. The rest of you resisted. Okay, so if he tried to move on his turn, would he be able to? Uh, I believe he has to make a check, but yes. Would I be able to run past and grab him? I would say so, yes. Okay, um... How much does the run action get you? If you just run in a straight line, it's uh, quadruple your speed. Um, if, if I was doing like a zigzag kind of a thing, like... I think run has to be in a straight line, but you could double move in a zigzag. Double move? So I have... So you could use your regular move action and then your, your actual action to move again if you wanted to. Okay, I think I have a reach of 10, so I'd be able to pick him up from right there. Well, I guess you're also grabbing then, though. Uh, but I'm going to say, you're fucking large size. That's an object interaction for you, so you could do that. Okay. I'm going to uh, pick up MK and start dragging him over here. You run up, grab him, pull MK away. Uh, it is an athletics check. Um, unless he doesn't want to be pulled. MK, do you uh, want to be pulled? It's fine with him. Okay. Yeah. okay. Um, give me a athletics check, though. Oh my, not even a moment of hesitation as you run through the gravity in this room. Zashi, it is your turn to be an athletics check to move away from the gravity. And there is still okay. one actual killable opponent. You're not quite sure how to deal with a black hole unless it's by magic. Okay, that was going to be my question. Does Zashi have any idea what to do in this situation? I'd say she's pretty confident that a punch isn't going to fix it. Oof. What if it did? What if it did? That'd be rad. You do, uh, you can run away, Zashi. That's enough? Okay. Yep. That's a really bad roll for me. Um. Now, you know what? I, I don't know what to do to, uh, Singularity. Well, so, this, this guy's um, still alive as well if you want to kill him. Punch it. Punch it. I feel like I shouldn't touch it, though, is the thing. Hey, de uh, dealer's choice. You gotta punch it. Yeah, go ahead. I won't stop you. Well, is that accurate? That would only be thirty-five feet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. A, a paltry thirty-five feet. Yeah. <laughs> More than standard movement in most RPGs, but not for the Solution crew. No. So, uh, in that case, I'll do a, a spring attack on this guy. I'll run away and try to kill him. I imagine it was like a slow not... start, like a juggernaut run, as you pull out of the gravity's <laughs> well and then just slam into this dude. Yeah. Like a rocket escaping uh, mm -hmm. Exactly, gravity. yeah. Alright, go ahead and take your swing. That's a hit. This dude looks barely alive. Well, not gonna stick around a lot of time, but... Slice a tentacle off this dude. Okay, so Finish my move over that about. Okay, that's me. All right. This dude over here is going to try and uh, five foot step, shoot Koss once, shoot Jossie once. Koss. Uh, 36 against EAC. Does he get um, towards the singularity? Oh, he does also make a save to move. Yes, hold on. Uh, he does move away from it, though. Good damn it. Cost was a 36 a hit. Um, I'm assuming Flax's thing isn't in effect anymore. Uh, it was till the end, top of his turn, so it is no longer in effect. Then yes, it hits. Right. 
He's 62, cost drops unconscious from the beam. Turns around towards Zashi, fires another one. That's absolutely going to be a hit uh, with 18 on the dice. What's the total? Uh, it's going to be 48. Okay, yeah, you're right. <laughs> uh, 55, Zashi drops as well. Dang it! It hung around and this killed This guy has got that like yellow foam on his mouth. The other city starting to panic. Cost, it's immediately back to you. I imagine you get, you get straight back up like it was nothing. This dude, I think Zashi honestly like punched so hard the light exploded off one of this guy's legs. Um, can I let the, the Singularity pull me in? Uh, yeah. If you would like to. Yeah, I'm gonna let it and then move. Okay. Just so I can <laughs> spend less movement. <laughs> um... I don't think it can injure you within five feet unless it pulls you itself. Okay. You let your feet leave the ground, pull towards it. As soon as you get close, you touch down on the deck and push off the other way, end up next to Flack. And I <laughs> will use some healing for Flack. Cost like wraps one arm around the computer, leans down to Flack. Oh, you're beautiful, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. With a needle in the leg, Flack, you're back up. You see there's a singularity, gravity's warping, but Cost is holding you by the computer. Oh, what the fuck happened, man? That's never happened to me. No before. time for questions. <laughs> but alas, it is the singularity now. You just took a little nap, you're fine. <laughs> no one else is close enough except Flack and Koss. Guy's gotta hold on as it tries to pull you closer. Grab the pillar! Alright, first one. Against Koss. Does a... 44 beat your KAC plus 8? No, and it's a 45. Oh! <laughs> nice. You, the legs start to leave the ground, pull towards you, like one-handed holding on, another hand helping Flack. Flack, the one on you. That's probably going to do it. Uh, Flack, does a 54 beat your KAC plus, plus uh, 8? Yeah. How much does it beat it by? Um, by, what'd you say? Uh, that was a 54. So it beats it by 7. Okay, that's still enough. Flack. You guys see Flack fighting for his life, swirling in the gravitational event. Uh, and he is going to take... As the gravity begins to crush you, technically I think you could live through this if I rolled horrendously. No, I, you could. Uh, 34 bludgeoning damage. It begins to compact you. You go unconscious again. Yeah. All right, MK. Oh. It is your turn. <laughs> um, I'm going... Do I get the feeling that I could... Dispel uh, the singularity, like with greater dispel magic. I have to read greater dispel. Or is it? Uh, give me a mysticism check. See what you think. Yeah. Uh. I think you would assume you would need something more powerful, but that is in your wheelhouse at the moment. I was gonna say, uh, so I think 
MK on what might be the last or close to last round of Enlightenment for the day is going to cast Miracle and try to Miracle this uh, Gravity Well All right. out of existence. MK, you reach your hand forward with the most powerful of mysticisms. And you can see that almost like a current in the water, the gravitational flow of the room swirling to that point. You can see some of it's actually magic engaged in kind of like this dying star moment of leftover power from the stone. And as your eyes begin to glow purple, so bright the others have to look away, your sight briefly changes. In front of you, as you try to harness this power, you see a roughly ovoid shape in the distance. A flat asteroid. Seems to be a giant city, more technologically advanced than you've ever seen at its center. And drifting around it are disks and chunks of what at first you think is planar just energy. And then you realize it's a piece of a lava river from the plane of fire. It is a magical forest from the first world. It is sections of all the different planes that have been pulled out of alignment via drift travel. And you realize that you were looking at Alluvion, the holy city and home of Triune. And as you look at it, you see oh my God. the beautiful complexity, how the orbits seem to shape themselves into those three circles. And boom, you snap back to yourself in this room. There is a roaring of purple light, kind of whites out the whole room for everybody. And when it ends, the gravity well is gone. As is the hair arch. Except now she's unconscious, so she missed it! <laughs> God damn it! You guys have a mental link, he can beam it to you after. Alright, Flack. Spanners, you got any resolve points left? Oh, I got some, yeah. Okay. I'll spend one, of course. Flack stabilizes. Uh, I don't know why it double clicks that. Uh, Jax? Yeah. You I'm gonna blink away the purple light. I'm gonna walk forward and just try to... I'm gonna kill... I'm gonna... I'll find some channel points. <laughs> oh my god, what are you doing? Hold on. <laughs> Inspiration. <laughs> Inspiration, alright, yeah, fuck yeah, roll with advantage. I'm just gonna try to kill this guy down here. Hell yeah. You focus, not wanting to be outdone by all the magic users in this world. You do like gun him down. Time. Do you want to spend a resolve point to make it a kill shot? Oh, man. Yeah, you do. He's not immune. You've only done it once. Jax? Yeah, yeah I'm doing the kill shot. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't if you respond. All right. Ooh, uh, what's the DC? 20, um, 27, so ten, right? Yeah. 27. Uh, for the Civ Warmaster, that is a 25. As the cannon, boom, impacts him. Tentacles, body armor, that strange yellow fluid they use as an energy source, splatters over the room. The last enemy is dead. If you hadn't blinked away the gravity well, I would have ran toward to get Flack and Goss. Hell yeah. yeah. I mean, with, how, with that Nat 20 Athletics last time, I truly believe you'd be yeah. pulling it off pretty easily. All right. But we're not out of it yet. Some people are still down. All right. Jax's turn is up. I'm in the middle of the room. Zashi stabilizes. Uh, yep. I'll spend my get my one hit point. <laughs> Die hard for Zashi. Zashi <sighs> climbs to her feet. Koss, uh, I, no bill. I feel like we <laughs> out of combat now. Koss runs over, gets Flack up with a little bit of healing, and then MK, you step to the center and boom, you can heal everyone, right? Yeah. Did we do it? 
Did, did we do it? No, we all died. <laughs> you see Flack standing <laughs> over you. Like, Koss standing so over Flack has this troll line. Uh, <laughs> and then you look up, see that Koss is clearly joking. And MK. Uh, you <laughs> boom. Everyone heals. And with that, the ship goes quiet. You hear the low hum of engines and devices. What do you guys do? Well, I, I think we gotta do some hugs all around. Some hugs. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah that's for sure in order. Team hug! <laughs> so, uh, soccer uh, circle jump five. hugs. Yeah. Circle jump hugs. Yeah. Chest bump, high fives. We did it, guys. <laughs> I raise up the top of my hand to high five you. Not <laughs> across the room. <laughs> MK, you make sure to release a quick healing pulse to ensure that their arms don't get hurt by the high five. Uh, MK, high five. <laughs> MK like wince as you feel something crack. You're like, oh, good job. I didn't need that arm anyway. I would have high five one of the others, but I think it would down them. <laughs> you guys uh, hear one person manage to cut through the static head of the stewards one of the lead fleets his ship directly escorted you inside on your first attack run Lynn Camelon comes over your comms units did you do it Arc Prime has ceased firing yeah we got it no worries uh, you hear, like, loud, like, even as you say it, like, so casually, you hear loud cheers on the bridge behind him from all his officers. That's really over. Look. <laughs> Too bad. Not much of a challenge, you know. That should um, be our name. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what yes. you guys do with the ship. If you need to destroy it, send it on a crash course out of the system before it detonates. At this point... I'm sure you could lock it down, and we could use it for research. When all of you are ready, come on home. We have to celebrate Napsalom Station. Uh, you guys hear like loud cheering over the radio, like as he cuts the link for a second. You guys are left with this decision. There are still Civ and Stasis on Arc Prime. <laughs> Not all of them presumably were military personnel, but the Civ Dominion was powerful, draconian. Give me a computer's check as you look through the remaining records of the ship. Koss and Flack, you each take like one half of the uh, like keyboards over here. Jax, you kind of point out information they might miss behind them. Like, oh, I hit that key there. Did it go back? Uh, refresh that. Yes. As they type in stuff, in, yeah, zoom enhance. Um, you see that most of the records, the vast majority seem to be scientists and bureaucrats, but there are still some soldiers. Um, so you could uh, have a, kind of a couple options here as you look at the what you're able to do now that there is no central controlling evil intelligence. You could destroy Arc Prime, you know, set it to autopilot into a star or a black hole. Um, you could, uh, you think by information here, you could put the entire ship into a rel state for an indeterminate amount of time, make it the future's problem. You could send Arc Prime to, uh, distant inhabitable worlds, have them restart with those Civ once they reach there. Sure, someone might bump into it on the way, but if they don't, Eventually, the Civ are going to nah, be locked guys, down. We don't. We don't want this thing being around. Nobody. Nobody needs to have this technology. Nobody needs to have this information. It needs to go. Where, away. where is the nearest black hole? <laughs> Send it to the sun. Just let it uh, burn. The, up. the nearest sun is way closer than the nearest black hole. This this ship represents. Uh, 
an entire pre-gap civilization. I mean, we could learn so much studying this technology. I mean, we, the Pact Worlds have made deals with dangerous uh, former enemies before. You know, look at the, um, the Vesk uh, Dominion or whatever their uh, empire the is called. The, the Civs and now. their technology are so. There's 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 lean way too hard towards negative, right? There's nothing positive about this. There's no positive technology on here. It's all about domination and slavery, and there's there's nothing there's nothing quality qualitative here. It's all That's weapons. What, they're a highly militarized race. They're it's a lot of weapons. Is there anything other than civs and stasis? And I mean, we talk about the civ technology, but like what? What? Well, what the is rail that? State. I guess the rail state technology is the thing yeah, that I they're was big quantum of. stuff. Yeah, I mean, Which... I think that like the civs are in stasis, so it's not like they're except for the one guy who's under our dominion for another 12 days or something. Um, you know, I think that they could all go to space jail and could let scientists, you know, take over the ship and just learn everything. I just think this technology in the hands of people is just going to be a continuing battle that we're going to have to fight. It's all negative That's... energy. That's all technology, though. The technology itself isn't evil. It's that's what the Civ used it for. You could also separate but that's the not two. What we would use it for. Like you could it's take the stasis building. pods out of the ship and still destroy the ship. I'm fine with that. Wait, take what pods out of the ship? Like the any stasis pods left of like Civ. There's probably a few um, of the Bantrid that was like hovering folk as well uh, can we can we separate any of the the civ from all of the other races that they've enslaved can we just leave all the civ in here and just turn off their life support uh, you can even break it down by just taking out the soldiers you can leave scientists and bureaucrats mm. big mistake <laughs> we could learn we'll a back lot here again, you could also just send the whole have? fucking ship to the quantum realm and not worry about it <laughs> Here's the deal. I say we let other people decide this question, and uh, when they need us again because they make stupid decisions, <laughs> come back and again. I think I'm we're not fine here. Yeah, with the I'm means all right to do this. Turning it over, and uh, if it's a problem, they'll call us. Can we at least shut up the life support for the soldiers before we go? Ah, uh, sure. Uh, you do that, you leave the ship for the rest of the hacked world to decide what to do with. Um. We keep the one soldier, though, so they can study that. Study him. But the one that's currently friendly with us. Sylvester. Yeah. Uh, you bring Sylvester with you guys. To learn from, wait to... I suppose. You wait for you wait for a small to get it back, and then as soon as he's on... Uh, the Celosia. You just drop the spell. Gotcha. As soon as he's in chains. Yeah. <laughs> that tape or whatever. Alright. Um, in that case, you guys head out of the ship. You are able to locate, uh, with the help of 4.5, the transit <coughs> uh, pod that will bring you back out. Uh, toward where your ship was put down on the side. Uh, you're even able to recover your robots, and it seems like they made a massive set of problems. Uh, you take a 4.5 basket base as well to meet your robots. <laughs> Looks like they've just been killing various things through the ship, uh, just carving a path through, making your guys' DCs uh, easier than they otherwise would have been. And you guys return to the Pact World. Specifically, Absalom Station. You guys get on uh, your ship again, Doppler, your AI. 
uh, comes on and is like, this is it then, uh, we finished the final mission. Hope you all have a good yeah, party. Yeah, I need a little. nap, man. How'd you do? Well, um, I had to use some point defense systems to try to keep people away from the ship, but in the end, here we are, safe and sound. Thought we were all gonna die, but we didn't, so I suppose that's pretty good. That's a great Tuesday. Okay. I'll say so, that's a good result. I guess kind of like I'm flying at a good pace back toward Absalom Station. Um, I, I, if Flax sticks it on autopilot, goes into the, the, um, hell yeah, go for it. The kitchen and just starts eating some food and just about ready to pass out, just tired. I mean, he's been dead, you know, for part of the day. <laughs> yeah, quite literally. He got crushed. Just trying to re energize and whatever. Yeah. Um, okay. all right, uh, you guys, uh, begin piloting back the thrum of the deck, uh, beneath you as you make your way toward the ship, uh, toward the station, excuse me. Uh, and as you touch down, there are basically fireworks. You see Vescarium ships, you see members of the Starfinder Society, fleets that have been utterly decimated but are letting loose torpedoes, plasma bombardments out into the void to herald your guys' return. Truly now some of the most powerful people in civilized space. As you guys make your way back to the station, you see all of the members of the council uh, new and old meet you there, clap you on the back. Even the incredibly grim member of the council who is from Eox lets out a rare smile at the sight of you. Skull smile. Yeah, it looks very disturbing. I feel like I'd rather you didn't. <laughs> All right. There's lots of parades. The packed councils... Uh, directorate makes you guys you know heroes in every sense of the word they give you medals there are banners across the whole station with you shops ask uh for your guys likenesses to use in ads and things like that as you guys become household names and after just weeks of this celebration uh let's fucking go down the list what do you guys head out into the stars to do costs What's your next move, do you think? Okay. Cost does a couple of things. Oh, okay. I thought about this. Right on me. Um, first, he enters a thruple. <laughs> okay. Does he With? have a couple in mind? Yes. With? And they're not already a couple. Um, Los <laughs> Fari. Losafarin and Lynn Camulin. <laughs> uh, you become the subject of a lot of gossip magazines uh, as you begin a uh, somewhat torrid romance. Uh, not only with Lynn Camelon, uh, but also Losafarin, right? Uh, the yes. elven diplomat. You guys, you bring a whole new light to things. People always thought he was kind of stuck up. You're like, oh, he actually is capable of, like, any emotion and love. And I think because they probably move into Absalom Station, it's where they work. And I assume engage in all sorts of extremely advanced scientific research. Yes, and that leads into, he is also occasionally a traveling engineer a lot of things engineering xenobiology biosynthetic uh doctor hell yeah so he travels to multiple multitudes of planets and just a traveling doctor all right and then finally the speaking of doctors the doctor's clone from the last game mm -hmm. the yeah yeah he, the one you guys are gonna raise yes he adopts her and she becomes a teacher on Absalom Station. Hell yeah, that's awesome. 
Dr. Nagant from Signal of Screams, who, in the end, uh, you guys did manage to defeat her, but there was a younger clone of herself. And Koss, you uh, and your two companions now raise her to be a teacher. All right. Flack, what about you, you sneaky fellow? What do you get up to as the weeks and weeks of celebrations begin to wind down as the packed worlds are safe once more? Yeah, so Flack gets super, super bored. Hell yeah. And just spends all of his time trying to convince <laughs> everybody from the Solosia to get back together and go out and do some stuff and start farting around, stop being legit. Let's go out there. Let's kick some ass. Let's save some people. And he has, you know, some successes and some failures. And in the end, in the end, he just, uh, you know, that's what he's trying to do. He's just trying to have more adventures. Um, if he can't get the crew to get back together, or at least a large majority of the crew, he, he will put together his own crew and uh, try his best to have all the adventures that he can have. Yeah, even during the celebrations, looking out toward the stars, wondering what to come next. Koss says, yeah, he's on call for some adventures. I imagine you're able to gather at least some of them from time to time. Uh, yeah. Let's go next down my list. MK, what are you doing? This priest of Triune who is a star shaman. You've connected as much as you can with the cosmos and even seen glimpses into the holy realm of Triune. You've seen bits of the all code at this point. Yeah, I think, you know, from from the beginning of MK's life, he's, he's at this point, maybe two or three years old. Um, from the beginning on Avalon, he was always sort of meant to explore and spread uh, knowledge of the drift and of triune as far as he could and i think getting a glimpse into alluvion and into uh the all code itself probably just re reconfirms for him that he needs to be out there finding new systems uh establishing new drift beacons and uh spreading uh, the reach of uh, the drift as far as he can. So I, I think to the extent that the the rest of the gang uh, is down for finding new systems and new civilizations and uh, expanding and exploring that way, he would uh, continue doing that. Hell yeah, the vast is calling from outside the packed worlds. Plenty of space to explore plant new drift beacons for generations to follow stars without number indeed zashi what about you what are you doing so first after all this and everybody kind of does their own thing for a little bit um zashi gets into professional sports and oh, hell yeah she <laughs> she joins uh the, what the team that is taking oh you the joined the buzzblades buzz yeah 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 but they've kind of reinvented themselves kind of out of respect of their team getting uh obliterated <laughs> going insane um, the nightmare realm. yeah yeah, yeah. uh and so and she does that for like five years or something um and then she gets kind of bored and then she starts hanging out with Flack and MK and going <laughs> to Jersey, random yeah. places, and, you know, picking up an adventure for six months or something, and then coming back to her fancy yeah, condo, wherever the buzz blades the... are based out of. Oh, they definitely, you definitely have a, you guys all probably like some of the nicest condos in the whole fucking station at this point. Yeah. Um, absolutely. I go adventuring in the off season. All right. <laughs> And last but not least, the man with power armor and a million tech implants. Jax, what do you do in the end? Just spend all... Just use all the influence I can to get all the best weapons, cybernetics, power armors. Hell yeah, you... Start just... my own mercenary company of power armored mercenaries. Oh, it becomes wildly successful. Just like you are known having an almost 
like, 100% success rate of just, you, you know, are able to rent out new ships with all your money, new sets of power armor, just like squads of power armored uh, mercs tailoring themselves after your image, probably in different power armor than yours, so you can be unique to them, just, like, dropping yeah. out from orbit to complete missions. Awesome. Amazing. With all we these Titanfall in this bitch. Hell yeah, he's full, full <laughs> Titanfall. Alright, so all the crew, they go adventure, they go their separate ways, they take their next steps in life. Uh, and with that, I had two interesting stats to share. One is that uh, about two weeks short in the end of this being from the very first session of the first game, this took us almost exactly two and a half years. Wow. Now you might be wondering, how many hours of gameplay is that? Is that? that includes oh, the break? Oh. We kind of oh. had a, like a break in there. <laughs> we did have a break for a while, to be fair. Including hours it's of true. gameplay, though, that is over 150 hours as the crew of the Solosia. <laughs> wow. Nice. Gonna miss it so much. Yeah, it's I gonna know. be. I don't even know what's gonna happen next, but I had an absolute blast. I think it's the longest campaign I've ever run for one group. And we did have people jump in and out. The captain seat certainly ran through a few <laughs> members. But Jax, I'm glad we could get you in uh, for the final session where we have to go. Yeah, yeah that was awesome. Yeah. Look at great, the friends and family. Great, great addition. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. My pleasure, guys. That was an absolute blast, and I hope we can keep adventuring. Yeah. Perhaps with some new Let's start talking about the next, the next session. <laughs> yeah, vlog's all about it. <laughs> all right. It's been so much fun, everyone. Really. Yeah. For sure. It's been great. Right. It's been all right. You guys are, <laughs> you guys are okay. <laughs> you know, if we ever want to do an occasional like uh, Solosia reunion one shot or something. Right. Oh, I could yeah. definitely yeah. think of some ideas for that. That'd be. That'd be totally I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind anyway spending another two and a half years doing another game. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All right, like y'all. This just was uh, learning half my things. <laughs> for real, yeah. this was a, a not our usual night. Strange night to do it on, but I'll let you guys go. And I don't know when we're gonna do our next thing, but we'll have to talk some and figure out what comes next. Thanks everyone for watching. Mm -hmm. All the Slogia's, uh adventures. Bye guys. Wow. Yep. Wow.